Hey, what's up? Ugh, get this freaking music out of here. It's too intense. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh! Hey. Ah. Guys, listen. Listen. All right? I think we're going to have a nice day today. Okay? I think we're going to have a great day today. Because I... Guys, I finally, it's all, it's all resolved. The, the big, the big taxes are done. Guys, I'm begging you, all right? Like, if you fucking make me have to hide the chat on <laughs> the intros, I will have Gnome do that. Uh, and I'll have to hide it here, too. Like, I, I, I'm begging. I'm not even, I'm not asking, I'm begging. Uh, but, uh, yeah, the taxes are gone. They're done. I'm actually getting money back this year, guys. Imagine that. I'm actually getting the money back. They're giving it back. Guys, that's never happened before. It's actually more inconvenient than convenient. It's like I gave the government money to hold on to. No questions asked. Katie can get her bonus now? No, she isn't. She is not. I deserve a bonus. I just don't have that kind of money because right now the IRS is holding onto it. Like, I swear to God, when that check comes in the mail, I'll definitely remember. At that point, I promise. You have my word. And we all know how much that is worth. We all know that my word is... is a valuable currency. Okay? Known truth teller and very good communicator. As it is known. As it is known. It's fact, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry I wasn't able to stream as much the last couple days. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't just the taxes, you see. I was just actually just very busy, uh, but I'm back and I'm back in a major way and there's going to be plenty of streams this week. I'm back and I lived. How major could it be? Major enough that I could not stream is about how major it could be. Duty called. Dude, some big ass truck was outside my house today for like three hours. Some dude in like an oversized like cargo truck took a wrong turn into this into this neighborhood, and they very clearly did not know how to make a turn to evacuate from that road. And they were like outside fucking making calls and like frantically looking around like their windows for like three hours. And I'm like, I would just keep on going up to my window and like peering out and they would look just as distressed as they did before. I, <laughs> I think their GPS sent them down the wrong road. It was, it was embarrassing to see. It was embarrassing. Did you help them? What the fuck was I supposed to do? Uh, only thing I could do is be like, if I see his fucking truck touch my lawn at all, I'm going to run out screaming like I just got stabbed. That's all I could do. Was get ready to ruin his day even harder if he made even one approach on that gigantic vehicle towards my beautiful grass. Okay, Karen. Chat, listen. Sometimes, sometimes you think it's like a Karen thing. And that's fine. I get it. You haven't you haven't had a gigantic truck 
straight up use your grass uh, in your yard as a parking lot and, <laughs> and turn around before to the point where they've ripped up the entire front of your house. <laughs> you have that happen to you once and all of a sudden you start walking by uh, you start walking by your windows and you go, I sure hope I don't see that a second time. I sure hope that my yard doesn't look like a war zone. But they didn't mean to do it. True. They didn't mean to. Like you do any garden work. My mother, who I love very much, I love my parents, uh, did put a lot of garden work into that yard. And it would break my heart if they got home and saw that a gigantic fucking huge ass wheel ripped through everything in the yard. So it's my duty to run outside like I got stabbed if I see them even turn towards my yard. You can't turn that truck out of here using the rod. If that shit touches my property, it's my cargo. That's the law. That's my car. That touches the yard, my yard. That's my cargo. This is how I make a lot of money, guys. I find a way to interfere with the GPS's of vehicles that drive by my neighborhood, and I trick them into pulling into my zone so they all touch my yard, and then all of their cargo is mine. <laughs> Road pirate. Yeah. <laughs> Look, man, don't touch my fucking yard! Do not test me, all right? Do not test me. It's my property now. And then you make them do your taxes? I fucking wish, dude. I fucking wish. I fucking wish, man. You could have towed their truck. Chat, this wasn't like... This wasn't like a normal, like, Oh, it's my freaking... It's the delivery truck that delivers my Amazon packages. This was like a... Oh, this is four times longer than any truck that should be anywhere near this area. Kind of truck. Like, this dude looked lost. This dude looked lost, guys. And you know what? And you know what? I almost felt bad. But then again, then again, man, I don't know. Uh. But then he, <laughs> dude, look. Do not, he could have, he could have driven like, you know, actually there were parts where I did see they were clearly trying to like reverse and get out of the turn. And then I would look behind the truck and every maybe two to three minutes, like I sat up there for a minute, like eating my lunch, I'm, like watching. It was like a little show for me to like see what was going on outside the walls of my castle. And the, I, I was seeing a lot of people like getting behind this truck and then getting actively more angry that the truck wasn't moving while realizing that their presence right there was the reason it could not move because there was nowhere else for it to go but backwards. So, so there's a lot of moments where this dude would be like, just go around, go around. And then, and then they'd go around and he'd start to like fucking angle himself again to do the turn. And then another dude would come speeding down the road, stop in the same spot and go, what the fuck is going on? Like, it was like a fucking, it was an infinite line of confusion and anger. How busy is your street? Not that busy, but also not that quiet. It's like, I would argue it is the most normal of streets. But that guy made a big mistake turning into it. That might have cost him everything. He's going to be late for his deliveries. And that looked like... Guys, I don't know what they were transporting, but it looked important to someone. All right. It looked important to someone. That's all I'm saying.
<laughs> WMDs. We can't. We can't tell. We. I, I. I couldn't tell. But it was some kind of tube. It was some kind of heavy duty tubing. Make of that as you will. It was. It was nuke shaped. Yes, chat. I will confirm it to you now. It was nuke shaped. Which was all the more reason that I started considering my right to claim what is on my property. God, that would have really kicked me up a notch in life, guys. Get into the nuclear arms race. Damn. Damn. Maybe then people would have respected me. Tomato gaming renowned nuclear power. Thank you for renowned. That was a very nice usage of like a, a, a good word. Thank you. Renowned. Renowned nuclear power, tomato gaming. You could, yeah, you could use like reviled. You know, you could have, you could, you could have really, you could have really thrown some like fucked up stuff at me, but instead you said like renowned. Widely loved streamer Tomato Gaming has entered the nuclear powers of the world after a rogue nuke being transported by cargo truck navigated onto his property line and he promptly claimed it. He called dibs. And legally, there's nothing anyone can do about that. <laughs> Damn. Guys, listen. I would, I would be able to handle, I would be able to handle that kind of pressure and the, and that kind of power. Like, I, it would not corrupt me. That's, I, f I feel like most people need to hear that from someone in this position, is me saying verbatim, it will not corrupt me and I alone can handle this. Do not worry. Do not worry. I can handle this. Trust me. I am very smart. <laughs> We're cooked. We're not cooked. Guys, I listen, I know it may seem like I am a rambunctious boy with a with like a wild streak of bad decision making, but I would actually argue that perhaps um perhaps this will be a learning experience for me. Maybe by giving me that kind of power I will grow and become like a uh, like incredibly incredibly wise and strong and a role model for others. You know, it's going to teach me a lot of life lessons. You know, one of the fastest ways to make people learn really quick is to hand them the nuclear football and see how they handle it cuz you know what? I'm going to sit there and I I'm, I'm going to have to grow up. I'm going to have to grow up. Takes a lot of responsibility to own a nuke, guys. Yeah. Uh. You have to feed it and water it daily. Yep. Yeah, you gotta, guys. Why does tomato have a dirty bomb? It's not dirty. It wouldn't be dirty because if that truck had veered onto my property and I had said, that's mine now, one, they would have had to have given me the keys to the vehicle. So they're lucky that didn't happen. That's probably why they were so stressed out about it because they saw that I was eyeing it up from the window. Uh, I, I would have cleaned it. I would have cleaned it. It would not have been dirty. I would have taken very good care of it. It would have been in good hands. 
Who would you even nuke, Tomato? You're a milk toast centrist. Guys, it would be more of like a leave me alone or I'm gonna do it. And then I'll have like a hammer in my hand and I'll be really, uh, it'll look like I'm about to smack the tip of the warhead, guys. Listen, like that's, <laughs> that's kind of the, that's kind of the energy I'm gonna bring. It's not so much of like a, I'm going to, like cause the amount of, pro, like the amount of land my, my space has is pretty small. And I don't really have the space to launch anything. What I can do is say I'm very jumpy. I can put out a press release that just says, Hey guys, honored to have this opportunity. <laughs> honored to be given this opportunity to have this have this bomb uh, here. I'm very jumpy. I am uh, I'm prone to prone to panic and just kind of like give me space because you never know when I might when I when I might jump. Make your presence known, you know? It's actually a septic tank and not a bomb. Well, I mean, like, I would also argue that, like, septic tank or bomb, regardless of me having full control of, like, a gigantic septic tank the size of, like, three houses or some shit is also pretty scary. <laughs> that... That's also pretty scary. I wouldn't want to know that my neighbor has claimed a gigantic septic tank the size of three houses. A lot of power comes with that. The nasty bomb. Yeah. Yeah. You do a goof skit and accidentally set it off. I would not set off my hypothetical dirty bomb, clean bomb that I've been raising. All right, I, that I've been raising in my home hypothetically. Okay, I would never do that because again, I'm gonna take very good care of it if I had one. <laughs> Just covering all my bases now as we get about midway through this conversation because I feel like I kind of have to I feel like like when you cover your bases in like a conversation with hypotheticals like this uh, you, They kind of have cooldowns before you have to reset them. You know what I mean? Because people come in and they'll be like what the fuck is he talking about? I have no idea and I'm just gonna assume everything he's saying is literal This is all hypotheticals The truck never went onto my property. I could not claim it Would you use it in Minecraft? Guys, listen, if I stumbled upon uh, something that I claimed of that power and magnitude, I would treat it the way I treat um, like sniper ammo in Silent Hill. Like, like the best item weapon or ammo type in a survival game. As in, you can basically walk up and take it from me because even in the most dire of moments, I will say, this ain't this ain't the right time for this one. So you can, you could probably just walk up to me and be like, I'm taking this and take it from me. I'm, uh, I'm saving it for the next game. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 it's gonna come up. Guys, I promise. Do you hoard potions too? If there's one thing everyone knows about me playing any kind of like longer term, like ho like survival horror game, it is that the game's a real struggle to watch me play. And then in the last boss fight, um, it is like a fucking machine gun of just like every single item I've ever had and 40 grenades. And the boss dies in about 30 seconds. And then I say, well, that was really easy. Why was that so easy? And it's because I punished myself for the last 16 hours. This game sucks. This final boss was trash. And it's because I went bah, 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 and just like blasted it with 50 RPG rockets because I skipped using those items for the entire game because I was scared. Yeah. Look, some people, some people use the things that they have in the moment. 
Some people hold them for when they may need them in the future, even if that time never arrives. And I would say the people that use things in the moment are probably happier. But me, listen, do not fuck with me. <laughs> All right? Do not push me to my farthest edge. <laughs> do not test me. Okay, Silent Hill final boss. <laughs> You have no idea how many grenades I have, all right, on my character, Simon, at this point in the game. Hundreds! I never used one! Hundreds! It's zero, or it's a hundred with me, all right? <laughs> There's no in between. Why does tomato always sound so angry? You think this is me sounding angry? You think this is me sounding angry? It's because I am. Because I gotta read people asking questions like that. Instead of listening to me while I'm explaining exactly why I might be a little bit pissed off. What would make you happy? Money. I'm glad you asked. Thanks in advance. Thank you. Cash. He has rusting angry accent. Yeah. It's it's chronic, guys. What's a budget way to make you happy? <laughs> hmm. Well, a budget way to make me happy. If you're not trying to break the bank on this one, let me think. Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. Prestige? Yeah, that'll make me happy. That's a way to make me happy. He can't think of anything but money. Listen, guys. I like what I like. What can I say? At least I'm honest. At least I'm honest. Dude, I just saw two people prestige you, dude. That is crazy, dude. Yeah, that didn't really make me feel anything, actually. Thank you for the gifted sub. Thank you. This is why no one love you, tomato. Damn. messed up that's messed up but i get it all right but you wouldn't be saying that if i had if if my scheme today had worked and that and that truck had been under my control listen guys the fastest way for me to be loved is to uh immediately start start claiming any kind of like ordinance that traverses itself onto my property line going forward um, until people are so afraid that they are forced to love me. And what if we still don't? Uh, um, let's cover that part when we get there. Let's go, let's go over that when we arrive at that point in time. All right.
<laughs> yeah. Hey, well, hey, listen, chat. We've got a lovely stream today. We got a lovely stream today. Um, I've never really played that much of this game. However, this game launched in a really trashy state, but it has had almost constant updates and quality of life improvements over the course of like four years. And um, I think the hardest difficulty is a pretty interesting and fun time. And uh, n uh, scuff and weird bullshit like bugs have never stopped me from enjoying a game. So I'm not I'm not getting scared off by that. So we're gonna we're gonna check it out and have some fun. We're gonna have a wonderful time. Hades 2 just dropped gamers. Check Super Giant Twitter. Can I unsubscribe from uh, this newsletter? Yeah, if you can hear me, uh, new newsletter, I don't want any more gamer updates in, um, in this stream. Thank you for understanding. You just subscribed to Ape Facts? If I can trade off gamer updates to like every game that I've ever played or like even adjacently know about, I've never streamed Hades. <laughs> so I'm not sure why that one's anything to me. Like why you'd even think that I care about that. But listen, I would trade all those things for Ape Facts if that's like the price I have to pay. You're really shaming this. Look, it's, it's not the place for it. I am not a pillar of the Hades community. Bug bear effects. I feel like that bit from Sunforged is it, coming up. Like I'm getting, we're getting factoids like all the time now. People, people, I saw someone that was like, Tomato, what are your thoughts on the new Dark Tide patch? You don't. I, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. If I had thoughts, believe me, I would be bringing it up of my own volition. <sighs> what if someone told you Bug Snacks 2 was real? I mean, I'd probably be a little bit more intrigued, though. Like, I don't know, guys. Listen, there's all someone's always going to be coming into chat and telling me about the news, the big news. All right. But like, I can't keep up with all of the big news. I can't. I, I don't have anything to say about the big news. Town Crier RP. Look, guys, spare me the news and instead give me insane psychotic rambling that I can break down for, like, laughs. Okay, that's more my speed. Is, like, like, crazed town maniac says something at me and then I can kind of deconstruct that for laughs. We already do that, though. Evidently not enough. Town drunk. <laughs> like, like, give me, give me something I can fucking sink my teeth into. Like, what do you want me to do? Go down the freaking patch notes of Dark Tide? Like, you think you do, you don't. Search Slimer Table Turner online video on YouTube. First of all, why the hell do I need to add online video if I'm already on YouTube? All right, that's what I want to know first. If I'm already on YouTube, why would I need to type in video format on YouTube? Tell me that first. S 
Slimer Table Turner Online Video. I'm typing this all into YouTube search bar. It really did require me to type. It's a 524 views. I'm not clicking this shit. Is that really just, it's just, I'm, I'm looking at like the preview and it's just of like Slimer. It's just a Slimer. It's just the Spirit Halloween Wiki video archives. Like this set, like I'm not even going to show you guys the video. I will take a screenshot of like the thing so that you can see what I see. It's 23 seconds long. It's 23 seconds long. We are looking at just like a Slimer. Put sound on. It's the best part. There is not a single chance the sound of this video is going to pop off in any way that's good for me. What was that? <laughs> this is the most unhinged shit I've ever been sent in my entire life. And I fucking, ha I actually loathe that I'm giving it any time of day. This is a video with 524 views and it's just a slowly panning image of Slimer going across the screen making nasty sounds. Hang on, you know, I will I will give this the time of day by showing it on screen just so people understand like what's going on. Hang on, I have to mute the fucking video game that I was going to play on my goddamn PC on this side so I can make sure that Slimer is as audible as possible for the sake of this. Good god. All right, guys, here we have the Slimer table turner online video. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> this is what you guys want to see. <laughs> but you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. This this is the point I'm making. Is that I got way more out of that than someone coming in and saying Hades Two is out on the on Twitter. Like I got way more out of that. <laughs> that was way better for me. I was happy and enjoyed my time with Slimer Table Turner. More so than anything else I have today. Okay? So, like, take that as you will. He really hates Hades. Dude, listen. It's just the example right now, all right? I hold no issue with the person who posted that, nor do I hold issue with Hades, but it is the tragic example, and sometimes you have to be the example. Slimer Table Turner 2 comes out soon. Thanks for letting me know. No, I don't do video requests. However, I will attempt to decipher any insane ramblings put into chat. Um, even if I don't read them out loud. It's that's more fun for me. I was once in a spirit Halloween trying on a costume and the building was on fire and but we thought it was a smoke machine. It wasn't a smoke machine. You 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 say that like you walked in there and the building was already like pre on fire. But the building was on fire. Like it was it was just on fire when you came in. How did you make it out of there? I was 14 and tried on the costume and employees came into the room and were like, the building is burning, please go outside. I mean, that was very thoughtful of them to, uh, to say please. Please go outside. We we can't make you, but please consider going outside if you can. It's it's recommended right now. Did you did you like put the costume back before you went outside or did you choose that opportunity as like a they literally will never be able to stop me from taking this costume with me out of here?
They gave it to me for free. Jesus. They gave it to you. That's what they all say. That's what they all say after they just steal something. Someone probably got fired when they when people found out that that costume was stolen. But they gave it to you. I mean, they were teenagers, so I doubt they cared. Minimizing the feelings of, uh, of employees because of their age now, huh? Minimizing the potential feelings and woes and struggles of employees because of their age. <laughs> I'm so done with Tommy. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> ah. Why is this criminal allowed to moderate us? Do I, does anyone else on the moderation team have some like fucked up skeletons in their closet they want to just air out? Anyone else have some shit they need to get out? Like, let me crack open some windows if we're gonna waft all this shit out into the fucking main room at least before we get to it though. Mod audit. Mod criminal record audit. How come you guys don't like my story? I feel like Katie has admitted to like 15 different crimes. And like, the thing is they never do them all at the same time. So no one, no one has connected the dots the way I have. Like she casually fucking talks about them as if like, like there's not a there's not a pattern that can be followed of like oh they just like consistently are doing crime. I haven't done that many crimes. I know a couple people. Like 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 I can count them on one hand and I'm not going to out them aside from Katie for this behavior, but I know a couple people including Katie that have actively like told me not one not just one crime they've done but multiple repeated crimes that they have done and i'm like and they're like but i'm not a bad person but i'm like but you do but but it is it, this is a pattern of many crimes <laughs> and like and like and like I, <laughs> because they're all told in individual stories like, I'm just expected to not acknowledge that this person has a laundry list that I have in my head of things they've done. I'm associating with criminals every day. Where was the background checks? <laughs> Yeah, there was a big mistake by me. It was not getting a background check on Katie. That one was a big mistake. I told you I'd give you a list of people to call, but he was a fool for trusting me. I don't want to have to call people to ask about these things, all right? I want everything handed to me without barely any work at all. Is that too much to ask? They would have been weirdo doctors anyway. There is nothing I can think of worse in my mind than me, a live streamer, calling up a bunch of doctors and being like, I'm looking to hire like someone you worked with. And they're like, yeah, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, I'm a streamer. And they're gonna fucking laugh at me. There was never a chance I was gonna call any of those people.
You guys do not have online criminal record check services in the USA? Damn, UK is so advanced. Whenever someone in the UK comes out and says, we are so advanced, I think back to that time that Sam moved to the UK and didn't have internet for nine months at his house. <laughs> Because the, the the infrastructure for, like, the electricity and all of that shit in UK is so bad that they literally are basically a third world country in that regard. But, hey, US has our own issues, too. I'm not minimizing that. But I would argue we're all in this together, and everything sucks everywhere. At least between you and I, US and UK. UK is the US of Europe. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Damn. <laughs> oh. True and real. Yo, tomato, Keanu Reeves is shadow to a hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, I heard, man, but also unsubscribe from Shadow the Hedgehog newsletter. Thank you, though. How dare you? There's a certain amount you can talk about anything like as a topic on stream before you have to give it some time to breathe before you bring it up again. Unfortunately, I used all of my Shadow the Hedgehog talking time a couple streams ago. So the opportunity is gone and like I'm, I, was, I was personally saving that news for a later date, okay? But it's being forced down my throat by people because they, they, they need me to react to it. All right, maybe I was saving it for a rainy day. That was some that was some premium news. Chaotic wow, thank you for the five gifted subs. Guys, if every streamer reacts to everything as it happens, eventually they'll run out. Eventually, what if things get boring? Okay, sometimes you save some things because you think you might need to pull them out as an emergency. That was my emergency, and instead here I am gone now now when something boring happens and there's nothing to talk about i'm just gonna have to like i'm just gonna have to have a mitch moment that lasts like 30 minutes because now i don't even have a backup plan all right god damn You guys just wouldn't understand how hard it is to be me. <laughs> More fortress update tomorrow. <laughs> Disable all updates. Disable all newsletters. Unsubscribe all. I don't want to know when anything's happening because then, dude, I, genuinely one of my favorite things in the world, all right, when it comes to games specifically, is going back to a game after like two years of forgetting it even existed and being like, oh my God, this game had 30 updates and like quadruple the content. And I love this game, but I can't believe I forgot about it. And now I get to enjoy it again. Now I have to be constantly aware of every update. That's it, It's just like a nice feeling. I, I, I'm never going to be pissed about like Steam being like, coin game has a new update, and then I go on it and it's like nothing. But then I'm like, okay, well, at least I know now. But like, there is there is something just that is so like lovely about like opening up an old game and being like, oh, it's been supported. Like there's still like a ton of new stuff to do. I like that sometimes. Are you going to react to the War Thunder classified documents leak recent? No. Unfortunately, no. 
Yeah, the only classified documents that I could react to is if a truck containing classified documents accidentally pulled onto my driveway, at which point I could run out and say dibs, no takesies, backsies, that's all mine, and then grab them, and then I'm allowed to react to them however I want. My property now. <laughs> run outside yelling eminent domain guys it's only difficult to pull this maneuver off the first time once you've built a pattern of being like that shit touches my pavement it's mine people will just kind of take it as legit and i'll tell you what if i got that warhead it would be so much easier because then i could be like give me what's in that thing or i'm gonna do the thing and then i get the hammer out and that's awesome that would have been awesome maybe i just make a prop Maybe I just make a prop. <laughs> Tomato, would you be friends with Wario? Yeah, I think you'd be okay. He doesn't really seem like an evil man. I think Nintendo has just given him a bad rap. Though I would not be friends with Waluigi. I think he's a he's like a fucking sicko. I'm, if I'm gonna be honest, he gives he gives me sicko vibes. Cause the old guys, guys, cause the only thing that they've done to differentiate Waluigi from like just Luigi, but like weird nose, is that he like pelvic thrusts sometimes. Not for me, not for me. If that's the only thing he has, that's not for me. He gives me pervert vibes. Wario is literally Mario, but, but, but yellow with an ass crack. So what? So what guys? So what? Like, the only thing Wario does in any of his games that I would even at any point question is like, okay, he, he, he's got a lot of flatulence, but like, I'm not going to judge somebody off of that. God knows I, like, I am in no position at this point in my life to judge people based off of like their flatulence. Like I, I'm, I, that's not, oh, 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 what am I like three? Like, I don't care. All right. Listen, he might have some kind of gastrointestinal disease. All right, I've fucking been there. <laughs> I, ha I have walked that path, Wario, and we all have a different fight we need to fight down there, and I get it. Okay? But if, but like, if Wario does something like that in public and I'm hanging out with them, I'm like, Wario, we've all been there, and like, I get it, and like, I'm here to support you. If Waluigi starts fucking dry humping like a goddamn parking, like, like station, like a fucking like parking zone on the side of the road, I'm gonna fucking back out of there. I don't wanna be near him while he's doing that. I don't wanna be near him if he starts dry humping a fucking like fire hydrant with like a rose in his mouth. Fuck that, no. No, that's not his fault. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The most I can pull from Waluigi is that he's addicted to being some kind of deviant. And I'm not interested. Thank you. He has a condition. Yeah, well, that's the kind of con that is the kind of condition you need to like go to a, like a therapist about and talk about. Rather, you don't you don't need to you don't need to share that one with the world. OK, good God. Maybe he's just itchy? Dude, take some antihistamines, okay? Like, what you fucking want from me? Look, I've also been there. All right, if we're gonna say he's just itchy, I'll tell you what, I used to be just itchy with a lot of chronic allergies, and I'll tell you what, you take antihistamines for that. You, you take allergy medication for that, and it goes away, even the most chronic of versions. So, uh, 
What? Dude, I have lived the lot. I may be more Wario and Waluigi core than most people, and even I know. Okay, if we're giving Waluigi the, oh, he's he's itchy, and that's why he acts the way he is. I would say there's no fucking way I would go anywhere near that guy if um if he's doing that kind of shit out there in public. There's just no fucking way. There's just no way I would hang out with someone like that. My God. Coward? Guys, I think people need to be shamed more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know that I know that we're all joking around and stuff. I feel like at some point, Waluigi, when doing something like this, Nintendo should have had like a toad smash a fucking soda, like like a cup of soda right in his face from the stands at, at like Mario Strikers and just really fucking slammed him in the face with that shit. Cause it's not, it's unacceptable. It's not okay. Like people should have booed him. Bring back bullying to me. <laughs> While Luigi and Daisy can go fuck off to the reject bin together. I'm not sure why you had to bring Daisy into this. All right. Unless Daisy's also out there like doing unacceptable shit in public, in the middle of, like, sports events. Um, I'm not sure what they have to do with this. Like, you're, 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 Waluigi, we can, we can get him for some things. Daisy, what are we getting her for? She's boring? Guys, if being boring is a crime, I got some bad news for a lot of people. I got some, we're gonna have to get a lot of people out of here. All right, because there's a lot of boring people. I'm probably one of them. When I'm not on the microphone, I am extremely boring, guys. I'm only activated for like a couple of hours and then I go into a dormant state. I go, I go into a very dormant state, like hibernation. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm done talking about this. Guys, I, I put like uh, put like 10 seconds into thinking if I had anything more to say, I don't. I don't. We're done with it now. We're done with it now. I'm moving on. Would you kiss Wario? No, I don't think so. I don't think I'd kiss Wario. What the fuck? I don't owe that to him, Jet. <laughs> so I, don't, I don't owe that to Wario. Like, what do you mean, what the fuck? If, if Wario's reaction to that is a D colon as well, I'd be like, oh, maybe I misjudged you too, because that's weird. That's weird that you think that, that you'd even expect that that's like, um, like something that's going to happen. Like, that's weird. He's so transactional. Yeah, well, what can I say? What if he gave you some money? Uh, if he told me he was going to pay me money to kiss him, I would doubly so be like, Wario, I, mi I definitely misjudged you. <laughs> and I got to get out of here. I got to go, Wario. What the fuck? I definitely have to leave. Jeez, chat. That's more of a Waluigi move. It really does suck that like the because Nintendo has been so keen on never really building the like the world of Wario and Waluigi the same way they have Mario and Luigi. It has left people to the interpretation, like to decipher these things on their own. And it 
always leads to Wario and Waluigi basically being the nastiest fucks that ever lived on this planet Earth if they were real, which they are not because video game characters are not real, I'm sorry to say. Damn. The gruesome twosome of gaming, they really are. Minecraft Steve is real. Guys, that's just a live action movie they're making. Who M Minecraft Steve is just Jack Black, guys. <laughs> that's not Minecraft Steve, that's Bowser, guys. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's just Bowser, guys. They're all the same. All video game characters in movie form are played by the same three people. Say it ain't so, it is so. No, they are very unique and pure. Do you guys think that it's because, like, there's a level of when, like, a, a, an actor, when most actors see something, uh, like, attached to a video game, they think this is so below me and there's not a single fucking chance I'm going to put my name on this because this could scar my entire career forever if it goes poorly. And it's only, like, a select handful of actors that are even willing to do that shit. And that's more specifically what it is. So the reason that there's like only like six actors that work in like any of the more popular video game movies coming out is because no one else will take that fucking job. So they're just being typecast into these roles. Huh. Did you hear Keanu is Shadow for Sonic 3? I need you to watch the entire intro. No one tell them. Watch, go back and watch all of it. Coming in asking literally any question in an hour and four minutes into the stream. Huge mistake. Huge mistake. All right, chat, listen. I am going to go to the bathroom, and then we are going to get into this accursed video game. I am actually quite excited. This shit is going to be scuffed as hell, but it's had a lot of updates. Like, a boatload of updates since it originally came out, like, years and years ago. Um, and it still continues to. Uh, we're going to play it on the hardest difficulty. Should be a lovely time. I am, I am looking forward to it. I will be right back. Now, as is the way I do things while playing any game on its hardest difficulty settings, I do spend a little bit of time making sure that I actually can possibly even progress it at all. This game's hardest difficulty is very difficult. Um, very difficult. But I have... I have made it to some extent. It's not that bad. 
I mean, if you've never played the game before, but yeah, minimize it all you'd like. <laughs> Go ahead, you can... I've seen people say that Anomaly on the hardest difficulty is easy, but then those people have hundreds of hours in the game, and it's like, well, maybe it's also because you have um, invested a lot of time into it, so it's easy. You know? Hey, water. <sighs> All right. So... We were playing on everything lethal. That means uh, <laughs> there's a lot of bullet points on the highest difficulties. Uh, every zombie is dangerous. There's going to be way more of them. Zombies have a much larger noise radius. Um, all freaks have blood plague. So that's any um, any special zombie. Like um, anything that ain't a normal zombie has blood plague, which is very bad. Very bad. Uh, extra large hordes include one of each blood freak. Uh, plague hearts are fucking awful and everywhere. Uh, the rest of this, look, the, the, the bullet points here is it's bad. And one time I touched a zombie with my vehicle once and my car blew up with me inside of it. Uh, I, I quite literally ran into one zombie and, um... It burst into flames while I was still running into it, and the zombie lived and I died. So, like, that was fun. Community difficulty. Um, really just means I need a lot of food, and everyone is going to be whining a lot about how bad their situation is. Everything costs a lot more to make. And map difficulty. All resources are way harder to get. Almost every good weapon in the game is gone and very difficult to just pick up and find out in the world. Um, and there's, I love that they include this range as if like, you couldn't just say most of the map is play cards. 28 to 30 is specifically about, a, we, we left it at a nice spread of 28 to 30, you know, a cool 28 to 30. How big is this map? The State of Decay maps is like six or five maps in the game for the campaign. None of them are gigantic. So it's mostly play cards. <laughs> it's going to be a lovely place. Now we just have to pick where we want to live. We can go to Trumbull Valley, which is uh, a lovely mountainside place. Lots of farmland. Lots of lovely clearings and plains. We go to Providence Ridge, mountainous land. Uh, I don't really want to go there. When I played last time, I was in Providence Ridge. Uh, when I was off stream earlier, I don't really want to do Providence Ridge. We got Cascade Hills, which is a lovely additional farmland kind of go. We got Meager Valley. This place just looks absolutely lovely. And we got Drucker County. Hmm. Huh. Huh. I kind of like the idea of Drucker County. I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we go to Drucker County. All right. We're going in while on Drucker County. All right, so we are gonna randomly generate some characters. I am permitting myself three re-rolls on every character and then I have to run with what I have. And that's gonna be necessary because all three of these people started with some of the worst stats I've ever fucking seen. So I'm gonna fish for someone that can fight because otherwise we are already dead. We have a lot of cooks. Cardio. Aaron looks like he does not want to be here. His traits are that he slept in a tree. I don't know how that's a trait. <laughs> that seems like more of a status update than a trait. Like a little quirk of his. He slept in a tree. Uh, 
I mean, he's got that. He's got that straight ones. Hang on, let's take a look at his details. For a few months after the outbreak, I climbed a tree every night with all my stuff in tow. Okay, it affects his skills. Uh, he's also very um, lightweight, which means medication heals him very well. And uh, he he was a judge. Okay, uh, that's God. He's useless. But hey, I mean that's a good start. He's got okay stats compared to zeros across the board on on them. I think we'll re-roll them. Aaron's not that bad. And he used to be in a tree. <laughs> and guys, he used to be in a tree, which is super epic. We're gonna re-roll. Whoa. Hang on, we might have a looter on our hands. Hang on, guys. We might have a looter on our hands. We got high wits. That boosts your search speed and your stealth kills. Youth counselor. Okay. And they were in the Peace Corps. That's really all there is to them. I kind of like that. Nice and simple. They're a sheriff type. Which means now what we need is a builder. Which this guy technically already is. But I got two rerolls to get someone fucking epic. Which means I think I re I think I roll two more times to see if Kip comes out good. I think we roll... Sorry. Yeah. I think we roll two more times to see if Kip comes out good. Actually, three rerolls. Yeah, I said I said three. We get three tries to reset this guy, not two. Okay. Uh what's utilities? Uh he's got knowledge on how to make latrines. Weston. He's a cancer survivor. Good for him. I beat cancer. We can beat this. Oh, Weston. He doesn't know we're playing on lethal. Uh, uh mm, he talks loud. He's really noisy. He has two volumes off and hey, uh, okay. Um, I think I'm going to skip on Weston. I think we're going to move to the next one. Uh, we're going to reroll Weston. Okay. Okay. I mean, this makes me want to reroll Catherine. We have two more rolls on Catherine. I like the look of this guy more than Catherine because they've just got a better spread. We're not gonna have like I, I think I think I like him more. Yeah, yeah, I think I like this guy. I think I like Ian. Starts with a bat, has good cardio and even stuff. Political science. Um he has he gets a oh Jesus, wait, this guy's actually kind of cracked. Wait, wait, wait. That means influence is really important for like leveling up our base and our like team. Wait, that's crazy. Plus 25 influence a day just for being alive. Ian! We're locking in on Ian other than the fact that he lacks boundaries. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, rewind it on Ian. Wait, guys, we're, we're going to walk back our feelings on Ian a little bit. so Because I think I got to get a background check on Ian. He's got that Waluigi energy. Uh, he lacks boundaries. You don't want a hug or a back rub? How am I supposed to say hi then? A pat on the butt? Oh, <laughs> average politician. Guys, I don't know if we can bring Ian out. I don't know if we can bring Ian out, guys. Minus 33% standing rewards and minus 5 morale. I We can't bring Ian. We can't bring Ian. This guy has like a... We can't, 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 we can't. It's so bad out here, guys. It's so bad out here. Sophie. Oh, boy. Well, they know... Uh, unlock still improves, cra improves crafting of incendiaries and recovery items. Wait, this is actually huge. They minored in chemistry. This, this, this is it. Okay, 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 okay. In that case, I think we reroll Aaron and we keep Catherine as the sheriff because we're going to want bombs to deal with plague hearts. So if they can if they can make bombs any better and incendiaries, we are going to want those. Uh, this guy who slept in a tree, we have two more rerolls on Aaron. Oh. Oh. Ramon. This is it. This is our guy. We got a fighter, a warlord type. Uh, high pain threshold. Oh wow. Okay. 
uh, medicine hoarder. I left my local pharmacy with one less window and a lot less drugs. Someone had to, right? And bleak outlook, he said. But he's got good fighting skills. And he knows how to shoot a gun already. I think we lock it in. This is it. We're rolling with Ramon, Catherine, and Sophie. Start. Now, guys, the first step is actually claiming a base. We're going to start without one. And probably also simultaneously barely a car. And we're empty. Again. So, whose turn is it to find more fuel? Not me. Last time I almost walked right into a horde. <laughs> I have a better idea. We could settle down here instead of moving that on. That Santa Claus? I admit it looks better Wait, than the last back there, towns behind Ramon's know. head. Is that Santa? But now that you mention it, it does feel kind of home. Skip, I don't care about their characters. You're nothing but blank slates. Pawns. For me, do you understand? All right, here we are. Okay, so they want me to go here. Is that? Oh my God, our base is Santa Claus's workshop. Holy shit, guys, that's actually huge for me. We love that. Okay, so right now there's not much out here and that's good. Wait, what the fuck is this? Who the fuck are these assholes? The city on the hill, home to three people already. Guys, there's going to be a war in like the first 15 seconds of this game. I'm going to have to kill whoever lives in the building right past my base. We are going to have a neighbor like five inches from our house. I'm going to have to kill him. All right. Well, we're going to slowly creep our way. Hang on. This car might still work. It's not totally fucked. It's out of gas. Let me check the truck for gas. We don't have any. Hang on. You two. Ramon. Can't keep going on like this. Shut the need a place to hunker down. Shut the hell up. Take this rucksack, rucksack. And you. Whoever you are. Sophie. I really hope we find a new home quiet. Soon. Quiet. Take this other one. Do not die. Okay? We just have to secure a base, and then everything will be okay. We'll come back for the vehicle when we actually have a way to repair it. I gotta get these two to the base, or else they'll just die on their own, guys. Listen, if anyone gets the blood plague before we even get to the fucking house, it's over. Okay, so I'm going to have to take this real careful. There's a screamer. That right there, you see. No limbs. One head looks like a thumb, kind of. That there's a screamer. That thing could immediately kill us all by summoning every zombie in this entire area that we can see under our location. It's kind of ridiculous. The good thing about screamers is they don't actually turn ever. They just look around with their head, but they always look in the same direction, which means you can really easily just go up to them and stab them in the neck and then they just die instantly. Okay, let's go. We got work to do. Yeah, give me a sec. I have to close that window on the side of my screen. <clears throat> That was the head, not the neck. I can't confirm where the game, this scuffed ass game, is gonna put the screwdriver. Is that Tanuki? Out front? What the hell? Hey, what is that? Can't tell, let's just move on. I'm being very slow, and you'll see why if I ever aggro a feral. Okay, because I've had my run ended by one feral on lethal difficulty just catching me and noticing I'm in the map with them. So I'm going to go very slow while we loot things. It's The game is trying to trick me into sprinting right now. I'm not going to fall for it. We're going to slowly but surely loot the houses on the way to our base. You two stay quiet now. Going to just carefully check the area. Scraps of circuitry. That's not a real Jerry Ken. Gonna take a look around. Got a fridge here. This is def a sponsored stream, it feels like. For me, don't That's a fun you. thing to just say. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because I'm explaining the game as I play it, so people get it. 
That was a dumb fucking message. Oh. I just found an Uzi. Okay. Okay. I am going to take that. A nice a streamer lock Uzi. Okay. And a cooking textbook to teach someone in the camp how to cook. And a hat. Trucker hat. Gun more like alert every zombie in five miles. Guys, we're never gonna shoot this. Thing. Okay, we're never, we're never gonna shoot this gun. But we will help ourselves to it. What the fuck is all this? Dude, I'm pl I'm on the right difficulty, right? Wait, really? What? Guys, I picked lethal. <laughs> I, I picked lethal, right? I picked the right difficulty. Huh. Well, I got a nice t-shirt. Revolver, some more pistol rounds, a signal antenna. But every time it was like they'd never seen Sophie's before. talking about some bullshit. It's pretty hard to come back after a while. <sighs> no more creepers. We're good to go. Okay. Let's take a look around the rest of the building and get to the base. I'm a little full at the moment. One of you, come to me. Ramon! Really Ramon or Sophie? Here, here take all Sophie. of my shit from me. All of it. I'm a little full at the moment. Quiet. Is this like a tutorial house? I've never looted a gun in the time that I was playing this earlier to see if I could do this difficulty or not. I've never seen one before now. I had to I had to pay my, I had to give some chumps down the street from my base about 500 gallons of liquor for them to give me one pistol. So this is a streamer luck moment. Ah, uh, specifically, because I, I, the amount of liquor I had to give to some, like, bastards outside my house, so they would be so kind as to give me five rounds and a old M1911. Hang on, I gotta get rid of this guy. Let me just... Oh! Let's fucking roll. We'll get to the base, drop these two off, and then move on. I'm not gonna loot the rest of this place right now. I just wanna drop these guys off. And where the hell do those guys live? Do they live right there? There's like that other, there's another team of people out there. Oh, it's actually kind of a straight line into my, into my base. Aside from that one dude. Okay, I'm just gonna clear out this gonna clear out this guy and then we'll uh get ourselves situated we have unfriendly company huh. can't do it hang on i'm just trying to Whoa. okay these two just seriously show that i cannot have teammates with me while i explore i'll explain why in a minute it is a bug it shows your non-existent base so you can do a mission to claim first base Chad, I never, I never had that base. I know you I think it's a bug. <laughs> I appreciate you telling me about it, but that's fundamentally not true because I never had that one. And I didn't play on this map before. <laughs> oh! So, like I was saying. Hold that thought. What, huh? What the hell is this guy doing? Bro, what are you? Bro? It seems like my two NPCs have become agitated. Hang on. It's gonna oh! dash behind that guy and stab his head off. Are you two okay? Oh, they are antsy. Like I was saying. Yeah. Every time my dad caught me doing something reckless and stupid, man, he put me through hell. Did anyone remember why he was talking about this? I tell you, living through that. 
was a damn sight easier than the world we've got now. What the fuck is Ramon talking about? He's yapping, but I just haven't e Man, I'm gonna drop off our stuff and claim this base already. I don't- I- I'm gonna drop this guy off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I think I just have to explore the whole map and confirm there's nothing inside any more of the rooms, and then this place is ours. So, uh, just have to check one more spot upstairs, and then we can move all of our boxes in. Uh, over yonder. Looks pretty safe. Yep, that's a kitchen. Clean this place and move in. Yep, this is ours now. now that's Claim. Hand. And this and this here house of ours has a wonderful, beautiful chef's kitchen, master bedroom, double bunk room, and trash. Which is a selling point. It has trash. And parking. Confirmed. Lock it in. How's the school district gone? Home status we'll miserable. We'll need them to improve this place. We need someone to scout a place for us. How about you? Everyone get settled. We're gonna be here a while. Are they still following me? Go and do things. Go on. <laughs> stop. Stop lurking and like do something in the community. I don't remember what, what the fuck is her name again. Sophia? Sophie. Sophie, I order you to- Where the hell is she going? What the fuck is wrong with her? What the- I know you're slacking down there! Whatever. Let's get ourselves situated and manage our storage. We need to deposit all of the rucksacks the other two have, so I'm gonna switch to their characters quick and get that done. I'm just gonna have them drop off their bags. <laughs> what the? Did these two serious- Dude, we just moved in, and one of them was like, I'm gonna sit down today, and the other one was like, I'm gonna take a nap in the nasty back room today. <laughs> what the fuck? They need to be doing things, guys. It's a team effort, and these two aren't acting like much of a team. Okay, I just dropped off another delivery. Yeah, well done, dude. You've been a real big help. Uh, all right, I'm gonna switch to Sophie as well and have them also drop off their shit. What the? Oh, I guess they might have been taking a sip of water. RimWorld AI. If you watch any of the AI in this game, you will see they're very similar to RimWorld in their ability to be like, stuff's really bad and I don't know what to do and I'm miserable. So instead of doing anything about it, I'm just gonna sit at the toilet and throw up. I've seen that. I, I've seen one of my characters just be like, I'm so depressed, all I can do is vomit into the toilet. <laughs> and then they do that. All right, I'm gonna switch now back. Wait, hang on, Sophie has other stuff. Let me uh, find our actual storage area. Supply locker, I'm gonna drop off all of their things into the supply locker. And then it's time to get situated and figure out what the hell we're doing, because the world is our oyster. What the hell, there we go. We're gonna play as Catherine because they've got the best stealth skills. Currently. Everyone's just leaning and sitting around. All right. Let me just get situated and see what the hell we're gonna do. I have six slices of pizza. I have 10 medical resources. I have zero bullets. Three funny blocks and zero cans. Damn, we gotta find some food or this place is gonna be doubly miserable. If we don't find snacks at some point, everyone's gonna freaking kill themselves, guys. It's one it's zero or a hundred. Now we have some I can't outrun that feral. What do you mean? Oh, there's a feral down the ridge over there. My character could sense it from a mile away. Now, guys, we don't go to that gas station, okay? 
we, 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 we don't go to that gas station anymore, okay? Because there's some, th wait, actually, sorry. We don't go over there. See that guy crawling around? See that guy furry running into the abyss? He just disappeared, he atomized. Do not go near them. They are sick. They are sick. We need to clear the trash from this area. It's gonna take two people with shovels, so I'm just gonna order someone to do it. What are you? Get the hell over here! We... He'll be here any second. Legally, he's technically doing it with his mind. Get over here now! Ramon! Ramon! He'll be here any second, guys. Ramon! I order you to dig up this trash! And, hang on, it's actually done in eight, it's done in 16 seconds with or without his participation, guys, with the power of my mind. Any moment now, this place will be cleared out of all of its garbage. And, in four seconds, Arise, garbage! There it is. Uh, and now we can build whatever we want here, should we have um, the resources, which of course, uh, we fortunately can make a latrine. And you know what? Having a toilet would raise our morale, and that frown may turn upside down if I made a, a, a toilet. <laughs> uh, I have just enough resources, and I already have a case of chemicals. So how about we bring... Hang on. Before I build a new one... Oh, for a second, I thought that was a streamer center. No. I'm, guys, we're gonna make a toilet. That will make the people happy. That, or we build a rain collector. Oh, hang on a second here. <laughs> now, hold on. Either I make a rain collector to collect rain so people have something to drink, or I make a toilet so people have somewhere to piss. But if they don't have any rain to drink any water, then how would they make piss to use the toilet? Ladies and gentlemen, I am leaving it in the chat's hands while I look around the rest of the base. I demand a vote to be made for whether or not we make a toilet or rain collector. Mechanically, they are the same, but the vibe of this place is at immense risk, depending on what we choose. Uh, I'm going to have them repair this bedroom while that's happening. Sophie, what the fuck are you- Sophie? Oh. That's Sophie's favorite bottle of water. She's always got it in her hand. <laughs> she- she loves that bottle of water. Very, very big fan of that bottle. Wherever they go, it's in their hand. Take a look around the rest of this place. I gotta go get my car. We don't have any gas. I'm gonna have to find gas. I'm gonna drop off these cases of chemicals. Well, get my get my inventory properly cleared out and figure out where the hell we're going. Okay, what kind? We use these ammo, so I'm gonna put those in my bag. We have 60 rounds. Is it that cool, true 50/50? Because if that's the case, we're making the toilet. Yep, of course it is. All right, it's a toilet. Close it. And no, it being two votes of a difference does not matter. We're making a toilet. Toilet. What the? There's not enough people working on it. <laughs> we need to wait for the master bedroom to be finished so I can make the toilet because that takes... <laughs> what, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Ramon has recovered from fatigue. I should hope so. I should hope so. In 58 seconds, that'll be fine. We'll go out as soon as that's done. And then we're gonna loot all these buildings around here and hopefully not get jumped by- Guys, there is a lot of shit suddenly outside of our base, actually. There's a screamer. Another screamer. And there's a screamer swimming in the water over there. There's a bloater. Another bloater. And a nasty boy. And another bloater. And I think these two screamers are so close that if one screams, the other one will be like, I'm gonna scream too. Also, the game doesn't pause when you're in menus, which is important uh, to note. Uh, it only pauses if you press escape. If you go in any of your other menus, the game just keeps moving. 
All right. So where the hell am I even gonna go? Living in a materials world. We have to reach a survey point and then scavenge nearby rucksack. Okay. Well, those assholes from before are gone, so I guess that was part of that bug that people were talking about, even though I've never made a base at that point in my entire life. Need to find a new seat? Need to find a new place to sit down? Want to find a new spot to lean on? That was a big rush for you, huh, Ramon? Huh, Ramon, you really need to find a better place to lean. I'm the only one doing anything. I'm the only one working in this building. My scavenging went well. What the fuck? Wait, what? What do you mean you did? What do you mean you went out and scavenged like antibiotics and a flash grenade? When? When, when did you? Oh, this is embarrassing. Now they've literally done more than me. <laughs> is this done? Beds are done. We made beds. That's three more morale. The frown has turned into depressed, and once people find out, they've got toilets. Oh my god, the smile I'm on their face. Already got a start on building this base up into something real. Oh, that was easy. Oh, I guess I did that quest just by telling everyone to make a toilet. How long is that gonna take? Huge? Okay, guys, we're gonna loot the neighboring towns. Talk to Sean from the Harkoners to learn what his group needs. There is not a single chance in a million years a group with the name of the Harkoners is good to hang out at. I don't think so. Uh, they also live near a horde of zombies. But I guess I'll go there at some point. But first, we're going to do some careful exploration and looting. Nothing worth carrying out here. Don't fucking just say that. You let me look for myself. Okay, there's nothing worth carrying out here. I'm gonna keep moving. Hang on. I got eyes on something. Well, I found something at least. Bolts. We're not gonna need those anytime soon because I don't own a crossbow and I may never. We're gonna go down the entire block. We're gonna loot everything in this place. Come on, chat. <laughs> oh! Maybe we can find some gas and then we can get our car. It's 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 sitting over there, totally unattended. Oh, hey, look, gas. All right, guys. Once I'm done looting all this, we're gonna go pick up our. Definitely locked. No, I I don't think I want to smash that open. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna not smash. Eat slower. We only have six more slices of pizza, guy. They're so hungry. They're ravenous. Worst comes the worst, we got a backup ride. Thank fucking God. We can use that thing for miles, we can. Oh. Oh, that's a screamer. That's one of those bad ones. I think I just don't go over around this fence because there's no way I'm gonna sneak up on him. He's gonna do his nasty scream. I think I just I hope he can't see over this while I go in this room. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, we're good. I, I'm just gonna leave him alone. Listen, you guys might be thinking I'm being. We've completed a project. Good job, everyone. Yeah. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. Um, you don't need to make a- you don't need to scare me on the radio to tell me the toilets are done. But thank you. Fucking Sophie. <laughs> I'm shitting, boss. Boss, Does we can shit now. Don't mind if I do. Leave me alone. <laughs> Hang up the phone. I'm not seeing any more of them. Alright, I'm gonna loot the rest of the stuff in here. In the old pink house. We can grab what we need and get the hell out of here. I'm eating a lot of stuff. Dude, ninja hoodie! Bro! We gotta go back and change into our real clothes. It's mostly clothes. Actually, this is really bad. We're only getting clothes. We get a lot of clothes. We can't, guys, we can't eat clothes. We can't use clothes to cure wounds. I don't think we're going to find anything else here. 
Shut up, Catherine. Just quiet. It knows! I gotta go. Oh, they're chain reacting. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. He shot me through the window. We gotta leave. Oh, they're gonna be wailing for hours over there. Oh, there's zombies walking. Guys, I can. Guys, don't go out. Don't check on it. It's fine. We're just gonna leave them. Oh, they're all scampering over now. Oh, oh! We're gonna go this way. We're just gonna go the other way. We are gonna. We need to go towards the Harkoners. You know, how about we go get our car? Because that place, that place sucks now for a little bit. It's just not good. We're gonna go, the sun's starting to set. It is the perfect time to go pick up our car and drive to that house about 175 meters away. No, 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 no. Get the fuck back. The armor's gone. No. Oh, it was one of those fucking things. This pistol's good though, dude. It killed him. Those things are almost impossible to kill in melee. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna leave the house today. I know it's been a bit of a process to get more than. Well, it's really depressing when you check how close we are to the base. Uh, I know it's been a process, but you know that. Check this out. Dodge and immediately backstab. It's that easy. 1v1s, do not fuck with me. Do not test me. Let's go. The flashlight's a little dim. Getting dark. You can't, you know, you can't sleep through the night in this game, to my knowledge. You, um, you can't. So, uh, I'm gonna loot the last thing in this house. I skipped it before. We're just gonna help ourselves to it. And in the process, we'll go around that weirdo. We have to stay up at night and keep playing. Sneaking with a flashlight on, huh? Believe it or not, the zombies don't understand what light is. There's not really anything else to find here. Jugs of ethanol. We can use that. We can use that. We're gonna keep on moving towards the Harkoners after I pick up my car. You all just have to have a little bit of faith. I know that it's been a rough start leaving the base, but think about it like this. Back there, my base has... Let me get, let me double check. I can't check how my... There, hang on. My base is only depressed. They used to be miserable. Things are looking up. Just gotta move slow until we get to our car. That fucking horrid bloater is still over there. We can't melee him. We'd have to shoot him. I'd prefer not to. Let's get to my car. We'll go to the Harkoners. We'll talk to them and get like a little bit of, get a little bit of street cred. If possible. Jesus, it's dark. It's really dark out. All right, I think it's, I think the coast is clear. I'm gonna scamper over to the car and we'll see if we can get it filled up with gas and then we'll drive over to that house right over yonder, tragically close, but yet feels so far away. Oh. 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 Oh, there's a whole three of them over yonder. I wonder how visibly loud this is. I wonder if the zombie can see this. Like, can he see me? No. Okay, well. We are... Ready to ride, baby. Headlight. Singular. On. Zombie. Gently dispatched. And let's fucking get it, guys. Come on.
This feels really dumb. Like, I'm doing, like, a really stupid thing taking this car even over there. Hmm. The headlights in it. I like that. <laughs> Come on, guys. This is the smartest option I have right now is to project my vision, like my visual shadow over the entire clearing while I cross it to talk to the Harkoners. Come on, guys. I'm going to have to stealth kill this zombie. Just go back to base, guys. My base is starving. <gasps> My base is starving. We need pizza. You know how we live. Good news is, any zombies outside of this base, I can casually lead into the humans in there. To be clear. There's nothing in this shed. I'm going for it. I'm going in! Oh! Guys, there's zombies outside! Guys? Hey, whoa! Guys? Uh, guys? <laughs> and now I wait for them to kill each other! Their bodies will make excellent loot for- oh shit. Yo, so one of your friends just died out there, I heard him, I think. I'm just gonna wait here. I have a tub. Look, they're not gonna get me. Oh shit. Are you okay? I'm not getting involved. I'm really fucking screwed now. <laughs> I'm not helping Sean. <laughs> Guys, ignore Sean. No, he's gonna be fine. Nothing bad's ever happened. Sean's not gonna die. He's gonna be fine. He's saying it more. He's being a drama queen. We'll know if he's dead because it'll say the Harkoners neutral two at the top left instead of three. I'm a hero. This is the bravest thing I could do. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh shit. Ah, uh, yo, Sean. I think Sean's sick. Guys, I think something bad's happening. What the fuck is going on over there? Oh Maybe I'll just get the car. <laughs> Maybe I'll just... Oh, uh-oh. Guys, I, I, it says the Harkoners won over there. Maybe I just get the car. Doc, the only remaining character of the Harkoners over there is radioing in. Oh, nice. They're luring the zombies away. Okay, I'm gonna loot the dead bodies of their friends, I think. Hang on, guys. Doc? Guys, what do you say we just get the hell out of here? Who the... The Wandering Campers moved in! Yo! You guys would not believe how bad it is out there. Hey, check this out. Yeah, I'm glad to. Whoopsie! Oopsie Daisy, where's the fucking fireworks to set those up? <laughs> You're doing an excellent job out there. 
An excellent job. Wandering campers. Couldn't have done a better one myself. Oh, is it? Uh, did you guys win? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Huge. Can you guys mind if I do this loud? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, <laughs> the others. You guys did it. You won. That's big, guys. I'm happy for you. There's another one. Oh, shit. I'm a little full at the moment. I wouldn't fuck with me. Dodge. Backstab. I'm going to have to do multiple trips for all this stuff. Let me bring the car over. Wow, there's a lot of zombies between me and the car, actually. Guys, you see, this is exactly how you make it big. I've got a lot of kukris. I don't need these chef knives. The backpacks is cool. Bottles of stimulants is very cool. I'm actually going to drop that and grab the bottles. And then I'm going to sell everything that's left over to these people. The new traders that came in and don't know what I did to the... Hey, guys. Uh, I'd like to okay. trade with you. Let's see what you've got. Okay. Yeah, I've got... So. <laughs> oh, I've got some things. Yeah, I got... I got some stuff. I got, the, I got this ethanol. And these uh, knives. Don't know where they came from. Couldn't, couldn't tell you. I got this small backpack. Don't know where it came from. Am I waiting right here? Oh, look out for that screamer. <laughs> I gotta get back to my little corner. Hang on, guys. I'll loot the rest of that guy in a minute. <laughs> I gotta get back to my silly corner by the toilet. That's why I hate these guys. They got to move into the house with the toilet that works. Oopsie! You guys better watch out. You know, the last group that lived here disappeared under mysterious circumstances. You wouldn't want to end up like them. Lots of screamers out in these hills. Lots of screamers and such. You never know when you might run into one. Sometimes you can hear the sounds they make echoing over the hills. They go all over these hills at night. Is it over? Hang on. Sorry about that, guys. Claim. Guys, I could actually just claim their house right now, and there's nothing they could do about it. They literally couldn't stop Careful. me. Careful. I see a screamer. Where? Oh. Oh. Yo, where'd that uh, girl that would trade with me go? I got more things for you. Who the hell are you? Oh, are you them? Haven't seen you around here. Does does Shad know you're here? Uh, I just arrived. Um, listen, Ellie. Let's I'd like to trade with you. Why not? I'd like to sell you all of my bolts, my small backpack, my my knife. There you go. And, wow, is that a pack of emery boards? That's a luxury item. Sell it. Now, let's see here. Box mines. No, I don't need that. Model, I wouldn't mind... Like a nice... I got a fucking... I, guys, I got some nice stuff from fucking screwing over everyone in this county. I feel like there's more bodies sitting around. I just don't really know where. Get the hell out of my way. Damn. These people have two toilets. Makes you want to go insane just thinking about how many toilets these people have. They must think they're better than me. Hang on. Who the hell is this guy? <laughs> Where'd this one come from? Huh. Oh, well. I'm gonna help myself to their branding iron and their chef knife and their snacks and That's another backpack. As as I can carry. Hey, you. You want to buy some shit I found? On Let's the ground, elsewhere, okay. I guess so. there you go, and there you go, and there you go, and there you go. How much influence have I made now? 551 off of ex off of tricking an entire community into killing themselves. <laughs> 
And with that, I would like to purchase some lumber, please. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Have a good life, you guys. Y'all be careful out there. You never know who might be a psycho. All right? You better watch your back. That's not, a, that's not me threatening you, it's just me giving you an important warning. This place gets crazy at night. Yeah. Swaps the shotgun. This ain't my shotgun, this is my rifle. Now if you don't mind, I need to get in my car so I can barrel through all these zombies and then into them, killing them all again. If you don't mind. I would like to drive this car back to the base, though. I don't like leaving it out here. Let me just check if there's any ferals around. No, it's just these guys. They can't see me. The, the range of vision in this game is very small. That guy would be able to see me on the car, so I might not be able to get the car right now. Light does not attract them in this game. If you couldn't have your lights on this game, you'd be basically blind 24-7 at night. Nights are very dark. All right. Uh. Ah, fuck. Didn't realize I'd talk to someone else there for their fucking quest. They're not gonna like how I get there. What with this car? I will though. <laughs> I will drive into them to talk to them about what what's going on. I shit you not, guys. I will drive back over there. <laughs> Uh, do I have a honk button in this game? Guys? Ah, well. Skirt! Bonk! Guys! What the hell was that? Hey! Everything okay here? Uh, this guy wants me to find plague samples for him. Uh, if you can find more, we have fuel to trade. I'm not I doing that in a million can't. fucking years. Go fuck yourself. Yeah, okay. I Besides, you. you're not gonna be alive much longer. You know that, right? Uh -huh. No one in these parts makes it more than a couple of days before they snap. Those are all plague samples. Better watch yourself out there. It's me, with a breaking news report. Okay. I took inventory, and it looks like we could use more construction materials. I have them. Sure thing. I have them. Already. Don't worry. <laughs> Alright, guys. Let's bring this, uh... Let's bring these construction materials back to the house. Is that another screamer? How many times do I have to run you off the fucking road, man? Get off the... Fucking, that's another screamer. Whoa, we will. Let's just go ahead and park our car. <sighs> They're communicating. I'm sure glad to be home again. Hey guys, I brought some bullshit to the house, but we don't have to blame me on it. It's just random chance. This place is running low on fuel, man. We gotta fill her up. Fill her up. Yeah, I don't have any gas, but I do have materials. You're welcome. Five pizza! It's all over. Hang on, I'm gonna install this maximum outposts thing. Uh, install this mod in our command center tier two or higher to allow us to manage an extra outpost. What we need, where is, uh... Enact rationing. <laughs> but they'd be so sad if I did that. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially enacting rationing on the community. Because we only have five slices of pizza left. We may not survive if we do not make moves now to protect this community. I see a lot of unhappy faces around here. Sophie. 
Maybe if you tried turning that frown upside down, you wouldn't see so many unhappy faces. Or maybe you're seeing unhappy faces because you're half upside down right now, laying down like that. So everything looks like frowns when really everyone's got a big smile. Think about it. You should smile more. You know that. You should all smile more because things could be a lot worse, all right? I could be losing it too. But I'm having a great time. <laughs> okay. Uh, let someone take over. Catherine needs a nap. They've had a long day. So I'm going to have Catherine take a nap. And I'm going to wake up Ramon, who does not look like they want to go out today. He is hopeless, guys. He is hopeless. He's got that bleak outlook. But you know who can't leave the community? Ramon, while I'm actively piloting him. You're going to have fun. You're gonna have fun because I'm driving. Maybe we should check it out. Catherine, give me your shit now. Give me your guns now. Sounds good. Give me your bandages and your snacks and your pistol ammo and your backpack. I'm a little full at the moment. No room for that. How am I supposed to carry that? In your hands. All right, fine. It's not a big deal. No room for that. Fine. We don't need a big backpack. Check if I have any ammo for this rifle in my box. No. No. No rifle ammo. All right, gang. Our next job is talk to Sophie about the enclave of weapon stockpilers. Huh? Sophie? I need to talk to you about ammo and guns. Guys, I think the rations idea was a bad one. Uh, there's some arms dealer at the grill master's house calling themselves the wandering campers. They've got a huge cache of weapons, most likely stolen. I'm sure you'll be fine, hon. I wonder if those guys will be okay. Confront them about their weapon or Why do I need to do that? I'll just lure more zombies to their house. <laughs> Fucking grill masters. Real masters. There's a screamer outside. They're walking right to the property line right now. Look at them. Right there. Look, you see them? Asshole. I feel like I need to get rid of him. Confront the guys with the guns. Genius. Guys, I don't need to confront them. Because I'm going to lure zombies to their house. Guys, we saw what guns did for the last group. Nothing. It's going to be fine. All right. Come on. We got a freaking city to save. This place may seem doomed now, but once I'm done with it, boy, oh boy, the amount of smiles and hope and happiness we're gonna see everywhere is gonna be immense. Fucking screamers. Hey guys, over here, come on! Hey, don't even think of pulling anything while you're here. I'm not, I'm not. Guys, come on! <laughs> I'm not sure that bullet was very well spent. Oh, uh, guys. Where is this dude? Hey man, can I like push you into the doorway? Can I like shove you by just like being an asshole until you're in the right spot? Cause I need you to over by the uh... I mean, I know one way to solve this. Oh! Huh! There it is. Hey. 
There it is. Ow! They're actually they're actually hitting me. Oh, it's happening. And now we enjoy the moment. Get off of my co- Guys, it's so bad out here, guys. It's gonna go out. It's gonna go out. It's gonna go out. We can fix it. We, 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 we can fix it. More of the same. We can fix I got that. We can fix it. What the hell is this? Can I like kill this person? No. Blind. Take it easy. I wasn't trying to stab you and kill you. Uh. If you want weapons, we've got. You've got to pay the market price. We refuse to be exploited. Give us a discount. We can do business. Or we've got a better offer. Give us the weapons and keep your life. Take it easy. What if I decline all answers? If only there was a horde nearby, dude. I had shadow keep that bloater from popping. Or I bait that bloater to us. I don't know where the bloater. Oh. Of course, I stealth zombie. Here, come on. Psst, 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 psst. Come on. Come on. Psst, 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 psst. I'm gonna lure this thing into the house. They're never gonna look down to see it, and then they're gonna get bit. Psst, psst, psst. Up the stairs, come on. Psst, psst, psst. Come on. Psst, 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 psst. Come on. Yeah, I got a better offer for you. I'm calling in my protege to have a word with you. He's gonna have something to say to you in a second. Come on. Come on. Hey, you. Why don't you? Guys, I've never fought in PvP in this game. If I put a full magazine into this guy's head, do you think he lives? Alright, we'll trade. No. What? What are you? Oh, it's just another zombie. We can tolerate. Don't you get it? We've got the weapon, so you pay our price or go home with nothing. I mean, I'm. Let's do some business. All right. I mean, that they are not lying. They do have the weapons, guys. They do have. An anti-material rifle. But they don't have any ammo. So it's like... You know, what good is any of it? Wait, wait, is that toolkit? Hold up. Can I buy that? Come on, fuck. Hang on, I'll be right back. Let me just... Yeah, I think I can just kind of... It's It can't be this easy. It can't be this easy. It's destroyed. It can't be this... It's as simple as that. This car is in better position than I've ever seen. This It's in better condition than I've ever seen before. Can I honk? That's what I think about your prices! I could try to kite a bunch of zombies over. Excuse me. <laughs> ah, that was, that was, that was rude for me to hit that zombie like that. Hang on, I'm just gonna... Guys, come on! 
Everyone, quick! Follow me! Yeah, I am gonna kill them all. <laughs> oh yes, it is gonna be one of those days, boys. Now let's slowly roll down the road with our new team. Problem is, some of them are too rambunctious and they're going too quick, and it's gonna seriously harsh the vibe of the whole thing if some of you are early. So I kind of gotta get off of the trunk. I said get off of the fucking trunk. Come on, guys. Oh, some of them are starting to run a little bit. Come on, guys. These guys got me watching from the fucking window like, what the fuck is this guy's- Are you kidding me right now with this dude? And now I just kinda... Uh-oh. And now I just kinda drive it around back while I continue to honk. And they'll pass through the building. Wait a minute. <laughs> what if I just kinda do one of those? Get off the vehicle. What if I just kind of hit him? Come on! She can't fight forever. The horde's here. There they go. This has increased my standing. What the? She's winning! Not on my fucking watch. So, no! My power! Ah! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I fixed it. What of it? I'm pretty strong, you know. These people have no idea I've waged a great war on them. They must think I'm over it. Newsflash, I'm not. Why won't you just die already? You fool! Don't try dodging it. Don't go inside. How many times I gotta do this? How many times am I gonna have to do this before you learn your lesson, lady? Shouldn't have rolled with this the, with this crowd. You know what I mean? You just shouldn't have fucking done that. Cause now I gotta kill you all. The hell do you think you're going? You're not going inside. I'll tell you what. Are they even taking damage? It's hard to tell. Yeah, there's a blooder. Where? Over there? Over there? We should go check that out together, you and me. Where the hell do you think you're going? I, like I said. Ah, yes. Let's just get her, let's just get you over to that bloater. Come on. The bloater, they'd love to see you. Oh, the fun you two would have. I have another task for you. Sorry, I'm busy. I'm busy with something right now. Oh, was that Feral? I saved your life. You should be thanking me. Let's just get her over to... Let's just get her over to that bloater, guys. There we go. Mmm. Tasty disease. How are you feeling? I want to apologize for the way I- Okay, I can't kill her. I want to apologize for the way things played out back there. Why are you trying to kill her? Is she infected? No, these guys just pissed me off. I mean, I feel like I could take this dude. Does he have a gun on him? No. I have a fucking automatic- I have a submachine gun. 
Yeah, I'm your enemy. It's time for you to die. Okay. Ow. Owie. Time to reload. Gotta reload. Owie. Owie. Healing. Reloading. They keep interrupting my fucking reloads. Whoa. I'm reloaded now. You know how this plays out, right? Newsflash, there's a fucking screamer! You chose the wrong place to go down, lady! WHAT WILL YOU DO?! Oh! Next time, just give me the guns, man! Just give me the guns, man! Fuck! About to fall apart. Oh, what a beautiful fucking day! What a beautiful day! Skrrrr! It looks like a good place to let this all play out. Where are they? Are they out back? Injured, huh? Good, good. Seems like there's one dude left. I'm just gonna let this blow over. <laughs> I think I just let this blow over now, guys. Listen. They, they, they refuse to give me guns at a good price? Well, I kill them all. <laughs> and I kill them all. They've all stopped moving, so I think they're dead or dying. Yeah, there's a lot of- there's a bloater too, so whoever's down over there is gonna get hit by a bloater and then they're gonna get infected with blood plague. Those three zombies are coming in. None of them are moving, so they've gotta be dead. I don't wanna spend any more gas if I can help it. Oh, I actually have more gas. Yeah, we'll just reload it. Yeah, they- yeah, they did- guys, they attempted to take advantage of me economically, so I killed them all. I'm gonna walk in and see if I can just kind of assassinate anyone that's still left. Pretty sure one of them is currently moving, but they're inside the uh, blood play. They're getting eaten. She's seriously still shooting at me? Girl, you gotta know when to quit it. More ammo here. Fucking chill out. Jesus. She's dead for good, but they're gone. One of them's being kited over there by like a hundred million zombies. They're running towards me. Let's see if I can stop them. Okay. Have fun! Fuck you! Don't ever piss me off! Okay, cool. We're gonna leave that- Wait, they got back up. What the fuck? How did they knock down every single zombie over there? How the hell did they- they're running. I feel like that solves itself. I'm gonna go get the last guy. I got 11 rounds. I think I can, uh... What are you trying to melee me? Girl, get the hell away from me! <laughs> Ain't no way! Ain't no way she's coming after me! What are you- What are you, crazy?! Go away! <laughs> leave me- Leave me alone! I'm- I have to hunt down your surviving teammate. Oh, shit. Okay, they lost. I think, guys, it's time the war is over. Ah, yes, there are still 13 screamers in the building. I'm gonna go back to my car. I think it's over. Guys, with that, I think it is over. I'm gonna eat a snack, keep my stamina up. Get in the car. Let's get the hell out of here. Should have left the car on! And bail. Get off the 
door! Get off the fucking... It's fine. Because we're going to get a toolkit right now. It's okay, guys. It's all going to blow over in a little bit. This might seem like a dire situation, but check this one out. Thank you for politely waiting. I gotta stop. Alright. Back to it. Those two are still legally alive, and it's pissing me the fuck off. I'm gonna go get the fucking revolver I still have. I think that has some ammo. And I'm going back out. <laughs> I'll switch to one of my NPCs that has full stamina and doesn't have an injury. I think I'm going back out. I have to- I need, I need to- I need to loot the one that's down, too. They have- Man, we're miserable, guys. I really gotta shape up this group. Okay, uh... Map, community... Catherine, are you back to, like, working? No, no, no. Actually, no, we, we can't abandon it or Ramon will lose the quest he's on. So Ramon has to finish this, which means... Um, I'm gonna take some energy drinks. I'm gonna take some weak painkillers. I'm gonna grab the revolver. What kind of ammo does this use? 22 cal? I'm gonna unload the submachine gun. We'll store the... We'll take the revolver. Okay! Everyone, I'll be right back. I'm actually gonna put the sniper back just in case I die on Ramon. I don't want to lose it. Okay. Come on, guys. <laughs> well, I know everything's miserable. God, I cannot believe they're still... Guys, I think the thing is I have to put the last bullet in their fucking head. Or it doesn't count as a kill is what we're looking at right now. I think I have to be the one to put them down clean. Because that's how that last one died, was I put a sniper bullet in their head. If I had known, I would have saved those rounds. I mean, I would have saved the one other one I... I mean, I guess I... Yeah. Didn't have much of a choice, I don't think. Well, well, one's in the house, probably surrounded by a hundred screamers. Let's try to get that one. Oh, there's another... I mean, hey... It worked. We have one. We just have to do some cleaning. Find more ammunition somewhere. We just have to do some cleaning. I'm going to check inside these giant boxes on my way. Maybe I'll find like a Molotov. That would clean this place up. Well, it's something. Parts. It's not what I need. They're not moving. They're both down. I think I just had to walk up and slit their throats. <laughs> Which is really dark. But, like, I'm, I don't have a vehicle anymore, so I kind of have to do it quietly. All right. Let's get up on this hill. I can't just climb it. Okay. Wait, yes, I can. They're not as... You know, they're not as, uh... Close as I thought they were. There's no zombie on the... Oh, my God, they're still moving. You gotta be fucking kidding. I can hear zombies still active on them, too. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Okay. We're going in with the intent to finish the fight, then. Gonna loot this person's items. Fucker spat on me, but I got him before they screamed. Which is good. Other one's down. We're not gonna loot this one. I'm gonna put this guy down now. Oh, the scream! What? Fuck off! Talk about this. And die this I time! I just knew it. Execute and kill! Sorry, bozo. I know there's a lot going on right now, but... Bang! We got him. We now have more weapons and fewer enemies. This is the road to this peace. This is the road to peace. How could you do that? Anyways, gotta backstab this guy like Dark Souls. <laughs> Catherine is now frustrated due to low morale. Catherine, I made you a toilet. What more could you possibly fucking ask of me? I'll demand you respect me! To carry that? Yeah. 
I made you the finest toilet the city has ever seen, and yet you complain. Why was that window still glass? What do you mean? <laughs> this place was besieged by ghouls. I need to loot this person. No way they missed that. Where Damn it, I'm not gonna have time. I'll have to come back. Oh, I thought it was deactivated once I fucking killed it. Oh, Ramon! It's fine, guys. We brought energy drinks. can't lose as long as we have energy drinks. Okay, bye. Feral. They'll never catch me. They'll never catch me. <laughs> wow, those drinks are pretty strong. I have, dude, that person had like fucking 15 guns. I have to go back and loot that place. But I can't do it on Ramon. The quest is gone. We're going to switch because his fever is getting really high. If that bar gets to full, he gets blood plague. And, um, well, that would be bad. So we're going to go on back. Hey, look at the toilets. I haven't seen these I'm yet. Sure I like the way things have been going lately. All right. You know what? You know what? Latrine duty. Someone get on latrine duty and clean the latrines. It'll make us all happier. And someone else... Make a rain collector. We just need we just need happiness right now. So we're gonna put in an order for that too now. We've got the materials for it. Now I'm gonna have Ramon go upstairs. We have one more open slot outside, which we'll probably use for a garden. Uh, I'm gonna drop off all the things that I've collected on my journey. I'm gonna switch Ramon off to uh, rest. Just gonna have Ramon kick back. Nice and light. We don't have an infirmary on this house, do we? We have beds. That's about it. Yeah, we just have a lot of beds. Yeah, that's not ideal. Well, I'm gonna change characters. Catherine may be, f like, Frustrated right now, but that's fine. I'm gonna take control because they can't be were they just throwing up in the latrine? I don't care. That is she was on latrine duty. Last, we need more food. I know. I fucking know. You know how hard it is to get food? Okay. Uh grab the revolver. Grab the we only have eight rounds left with it. Uh, it's fencing tool, bladed weapon. I like mine. Uh, I'm gonna take these f cooking text book. Uh, cooking locks kitchen two and allows preparation of feasts. I don't think we have cooking one on any of our characters. Or do we? Hang on. Shooting, shooting, chemistry. No one here knows how to cook at all. If someone had cooking one, I could use this. Yeah, I can't use it without it. I catch this plague, I'm a dead man. You're not gonna catch the plague, man. I, that's why we put you on the bench. You better not. Hang on, I'm checking your stats right now. You better... Infected, bite, trauma, damage taken, negative 27. You're not... If I switch over to you right now... Your fever's not going up. You're fine. Stop panicking. You're making me panic. God, I wish we had an infirmary. All we have is toilets. Why we have too many beds? It's really bad that we don't start with an infirmary. It'll have to be this one. We need eight supplies for it. All right, well... Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk back over to the, uh, massacre zone. Equip my gun. Move this to the right. I want it up a spot. We got eight rounds in a dream, guys. Come on. Hopeless right now. And I know things look bad. But things will look a lot better once I loot some buildings. As soon as I get those guns. Because everyone knows what's way more important than health 
And happiness is firearms. Isn't that right, my fellow Americans? That is how we enact freedom and protect it. God, what a fucking... Hey, I mean, you gotta give me some credit. All right, it didn't look like I should have been allowed to get away with the amount I just got away with, but I managed to truly and absolutely ruin the life of like six people in a row in the span of uh, 90 minutes. Give How me... about we try one of my ideas? Talk to Riz from the Vestiges. The who will help us wipe out the blood plague. If those fucking new alone. people... Okay, good, they moved up here. It's like, if people just move back into the grill master's house, there's going to be another massacre. Riz. Yeah, their name is Riz. R-I-Z. There was gonna be a great disaster. If I caught those people slipping. I just need some food, guys. We gotta go find a place to get food. Oh, Molotov. Lovely. That's actually lovely, lovely, lovely. Someone must be upset they left this behind. Bunch of absinthe. We like that a lot. I mean, I never looted this house. We have no idea. We might find... On the way back, I'm going to loot this house. We might get something decent out of it. I've been, like, skipping looting and prioritizing, like, quests and, like, missions... We would probably find some supplies if we actually took the time to look. But now let me do one- I'm gonna try to sneak in full stealth into this place. This girl's got the highest stealth skill. Let's see if I can get the bodies. I would really like that. Oh, oh what the hell was that sound? There's one feral right there. That sucks. If he sees me, I'm gonna have to shoot him. And he is... Jesus Christ. He is fast. He's galloping. Thank God he's marked on the map. Guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to get in here. With this dude. I don't think I'm going to be able to. Unless he just keeps running around a circle over there. I want to get inside. I don't care even so much about the body at this point. I want to get in the building. If I can get in the building, there's like loot in there now. For me clearing it. Like ammo boxes and stuff. See all this? I will mind get myself some treasure for all my hard work. You know me? Did all the work for it. Feel like I deserve to haul some of the l one grenade that I can't even throw. It's like a fucking for a launcher. The grill master's house. Toilets didn't do you much good once y'all got freaking killed, huh, bozos? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, painkillers, army hat, some more alcohol. Look at all of them. Disgusting. They really all thought. They really all thought. Killed over toilet envy. Our latrines are way nicer. Our latrines are a hundred times nicer than their toilets. We're good to go. Wow, that that feral is really trying to get in this door. I think I'm gonna back out. I think the bodies may have despawned, guys, which is pretty tragic. But um, this has been a long process, so it would make sense. Might be time to bug out. Murdered for nothing? I got a quest for it. Here. Medicine textbook? I mean, that's good. Yeah, I want to get out of here before this guy gets me, and I'd like to go to this fruit stand where my car got destroyed. 
uh, both to look out at what's around, but also because that place may have food. Um, makes sense to me. So I think we get back on the road again, the old dusty trail. And we need food, or um, my team is gonna abandon me, and it's gonna it's gonna be game over. <laughs> I think the group is uh, everyone's starting to feel the uh, feel like it's getting a little dire. Good news is most of the enemies in in this area have probably been lured out by me um, being the loudest fuck ever. So there's probably not many enemies around other than wandering hordes. I mean, my inventory is mostly full, so I'm actually mostly just opening all of these. So when I get back here later to loot the rest, it'll be instantly uh, accessible to me. And no, I will not be fast searching. I'm Tainted wine. Uh, I'm going to drop the backpack and take the luxury item. in there we're good you don't see any of them around here this place is secure all right we're going to the we're going to the place for food next and we're gonna see if we can get a rucksack latrine duty is done thank goodness there's Sorry, a lot of there's a, i don't even really need this grenade i'm just gonna drop it and i'm gonna grab these luxury items because we can sell them to that new group they'll love it they won't see all the blood on my hands from the people i killed they'll be so happy Painkillers, we'll take those. I'm gonna leave that other box unlooted. Is this the fruit stand? I thought, I guess it is a fruit stand. I don't know why I thought it'd be larger. Okay, well, maybe there's a rucksack in here. That'd be really nice to get a rucksack of food. Please, God. Anything to just a, just a slice of pizza. Just one slice of delicious pizza, please. Ooh. Nice. Dried meat. We got it. This will keep our community alive. Boxes of seeds. These we can't use right now. I'm going to leave them here. But I will loot them. Now, here's what we can do. We could claim this place as an outpost, and then we'd be able to drop off our stuff here. Not sure if we gain... Uh, while claim this location provides food to our community on a twice daily schedule, upgrading the outpost will increase this food outcome income. Uh, yeah, I mean, we are low on food. We can claim it, and we have another available once we get some more stuff. I think we, I think we claim it. Okay, yeah. Claim. We okay. own this that fruit stand. And I can see how we might improve it even more. And we are laying down incendiary grenades all over the place. As soon as I have some ammo. Uh, anyways, that's food every day. Uh, I can drop off all of my stuff from my inventory in this. So we're going to leave all my alcohol I've been collecting in the box. And you can tell we own this place because we've lit a small barrel fire on the premises. I still have to walk this shit back to the uh, house, but I can drop off all of the individual goods. In there. The rucksack still has to go back. I'm gonna go loot the rest of the hospital. Then, Has he killed the plague heart yet? Dude, I've killed two teams of NPC humans, but there's not a single part of me that thinks it would be a wise option for me to kill a plague heart. I'll tell you what. I feel like this is the next place I'd claim, though, just for, like, medicine. I feel like those are the two... Oh, yeah, case of vitamins as well. I'll have to get that. I think we want to get these two I spots. Think I'm done searching here. Case of tampons, we can use those. Incredibly valuable resource. All right, let's go. That screamer's fucked. I'm going to kill him.
I feel like even after what happened before, I haven't committed enough atrocity yet. You know what I mean? You ever get that feeling that you need to do more? <laughs> like, I should be doing more. Like, not enough people have felt... Not enough people have felt despair as of, as of my actions. Lock. Not a single chance of smashing that door open. You gotta be kidding me. How bad is it out there? Eh, pretty bad. I just like vault this and get in? <laughs> nope. I mean, I just want to get in the... If I could just, before they see me. Okay. Please just open the door. We're in. All right, let's loot this place. Or try before any of them see me. Better luck next time. Actually nothing. Really nothing. Never had that in my life happen. A hoodie. I gotta. I gotta get some cosmetics on these characters. I need something that makes them look more nasty. And a box of seeds. And can I tell my my party to get back on latrine duty? I feel like they should be working on latrine duty 24/7 to keep people happy. Someone stores their nail clippers in the fridge like a freak. Oh shit! Whoa, chill, man. Do not make me pop off. I will. Do not. Backstab. Do not make me. Backstab. You must have thought I was running back to base. You was wrong. The moment you started chasing me, I was lining you up. There was never a time I was gonna attack you in melee fair and square. Now that's how you die. That's how you get got by the creatures of this realm. Not me. Not me. Not when I got a rucksack full of pizza. Gosh, that's a lot of zombies in there. I think I'm just gonna pass on going. I was gonna go and get whatever was in that building still. It took that long to make the rain collector? Jesus. Well, we better be- When I arrive through the threshold of this, I better see a big fucking smile on the morale meter. I'm just like, Why are we hopeless? What do you mean? I even have a giant bag of pizza. What do you mean hopeless? When- What will it take for you to feel hope? Well, it may not be everything we need, but it's something, right? Hopeless. Dude, turn that frown upside down now. Hey there. Hey there. Dude, fight that infection off. Now. You better not die. Fucking unbelievable. You still rationing food? I have to, dude. We don't have that much pizza. Like, our pizza stockpile is bad. If these people want me to listen, they could be going out too and fighting for their lives, but they're not. They just sit here and they fish shit out of the toilet bins. Uh, look, that's not on me. Uh, let me take a look at that water catcher. Oh, look at that. Now, look at this here. Base wide water for 10 minutes will improve utility skill. I don't need that right now. We need supplies, like the, um, the blocks. Hang on, I'd like to go back down to over yonder to pick up the, uh, the medicine stock. Like, there's a rucksack full of medicine. I'd like to go get that. Hey, this is Twain here. Uh, we placed a lot of hope in our government, didn't we? Twain, I don't know who you are. The powers that be. They only look after the powers that be. Okay, Twain. That's why the network says power to the people. All right. As always, keep the faith out there. Thanks for, thanks for the update, Twain. This is a closed radio frequency. This is not a, I'm not on the, 
Like, I'm not on a radio station broadcast. This is like a walkie-talkie situation. I don't know how, I don't know who you are or how you got one of the walkie-talkies. Um. Of course, Tomatoes Group wants to clean the toilets. The fuck did you just say? <laughs> it's boosting morale. If you were in my position, you'd make them clean the toilets too. I'll tell you what. My morale goes up when I see a toilet that is it like filled to the brim with shit past the goddamn lid, okay? What do you why is that like a downside that I have them clean the toilets? It's like it would be an immense blast to my morale if I turned the corner into my bathroom and there was shit overflowing the toilet bowl. So yeah, we have them clean the fucking toilets. You made me so mad right there. God, you're dumb. I guess it's better than nothing. It's eight parts. That's not bad at all. We can use that to make landmines. There's nothing here that we need. Damn. What a waste of my time. Hey, good news is this place is... Uh, aside from that building up there that is still technically not cleared because it is infested by about 30 zombies... Uh, we're doing very good. I'm gonna drop this bag off. Maybe then I'll switch to, um, the one remaining character who hasn't been maimed. We really need the supplies to make an infirmary. It is so bad that we don't have one of those. But, um, this girl will benefit a little bit from taking a, a, a wee rest. So we'll swap characters again. I don't know why I did that. That was loud. I hope that didn't I hope that's not gonna backfire. No, we're good. Let's not let that happen again though. I think Ramon is gonna turn. He's fine. Look, he's Ramon, uh, what percentage of uh so, see he's still at 74%. If he was getting worse, I'd believe you. I ladies and gentlemen, we are taking the rationing. Oh, hang on. Guys, we cannot undo what has been done. The ration is eternal. All we can do now is face the day bravely and confidently. So says I. Me. I'm going to grab some more rounds for my revolver and... I shall also collect. Am I sure I can't use this? To learn something new. Oh, I did. I did. I'm not able to do that. So what did that teach my character? Does that teach her basic cooking? Like I'm sure it doesn't get her to the point of actually being able to make what I want to make. But uh unlocks kitchen. Okay, we have basic knowledge of kitchens now, which means I may be able to upgrade. Right now we have a chef's kitchen. I can prepare a feast. Guys, if if they want to smile, I'm going to put a smile on that face, but it might cost me everything if I do it. So maybe I just don't, but they're hopeless. I'm going to prepare a feast. Look, we, ha we have an outpost. We have an outpost for food now. We'll be okay. Guys, look at Ramon's already standing up. Look at Ramon, he stood up. Did you guys know? Guys, I just noticed one of his eyes is bigger than the other eye. Like, he's got that fucking, like, he's got an eye. One eyeball is slightly larger. Look, that one's bigger than that one. I mean, that, that one's bigger than that one. Look at that. Is that. That one's, like, smaller. He's got... Huh. I guess he did get the shit kicked out of him by a lot. I'm gonna go get the, uh... Yeah, we're gonna go move on to the next quest. Yeah, I just wanted to... Okay, there was a different... I wanted to make sure we were on the right difficulty. Uh, after all the things that happened, uh, yeah, we were on, we were on super lethal, mysterious bra- I forgot this map is pretty big, actually. Guys, we've been, we haven't gone farther than the house next door, really, when we've been playing. Uh, yeah, okay. Something personal I should work on. My brother worked as a cop in this town, but I haven't seen him since the outbreak. I don't care. 
We could definitely use more people with tactical training. See what you can find. I don't care. Dude, you're dying of an infection. I'd have to take control of Ramon to fix that. I can't do that. I, he, he, guys, he's medically not able to sustain, like, a job right now. Um, listen, I'm gonna go ahead and meet the neighbors. We're gonna go up north quite a ways, but it's just a walk. Okay, it's just a walk to the north. We can see the house. This map is not that big. We're gonna walk north. Come on. Why are people freaking first message emoting? What happened? One of my balls is bigger than the other one, too, says probably a real human. A real new chatter. Ugh. You disappoint me. All right, guys, let's go ahead and loot this gas station. Yeah, let's go ahead and why even delete the messages anymore? Uh, may, uh, listen, all right. Just because I get to read it doesn't mean you guys get to, all right? That, them's the rules, all right? Hang on, did I just see the option to loot through the wall? It's too easy. Was that glass? Don't care. Astral project it. Ditch mine. Scuffed ass game. Already got myself a supplies rucksack out of that. Didn't even have to go in the building. Boom, dude. Too easy. It's just too easy. Now let me climb up this freaking steep ass cliff like I'm playing Skyrim. Easiest job of my life. Boom. Guys. Why are they still hopeless? Why are they still hopeless? I made you a delicious stew. Why are you, why are you hopeless? I bring great treasure to this community and I and you're just sad. What will it take for you to be happy? Pizza stew sucks. We don't have other kinds of food. Hang on. I need to build an infer- I need one more supply still. Beds? We have a thousand beds. People have- People have everywhere they want to sleep in the depressive state. <laughs> we have a- We have beds, we have latrines, we have pools, we have like water catchers. We've got a master bedroom and bunk beds. Sleep where you like. We have a master kitchen. And these people are crying like babies. They're going, wee, wee, And for what? Like, I'm sorry it's not a five-star hotel, okay? Jeez. I gotta pop off and kill this zombie stat. Good. These plague ones are sketchy, guys, but um, if we kill enough of them, we might get some plague uh, samples, and that would be really good. To have some of those on hand. See if I can get in this building from the front. Yeah, definitely locked. Okay, we're gonna try the back. Come on, guys. I'm gonna wanna get rid of this zombie. This one's gonna wanna go. We don't get rid of this one. They're gonna tell everyone about us in time. Take care of them clean and quiet. Move on. All right. Let's get in there. The back door is always unlocked. We're well, in. I don't hear anything lurking about. Ain't nothing in here. Place is secure. Let's see. Everyone, <coughs> quick! So there's some <coughs> some kind of diseased particulate for the zombies. <coughs> Got in my throat. But listen. We, we need to, we need to pray, man. We need to pray. I need to find more food and I need to find supplies. So join, join me. In prayer. This is trash. I don't want siphoned fuel. You guys prayed for it wrong. Smacks you upside the head in Minecraft. 
You freaking doofus, you prayed for it wrong. Now I have the wrong thing. Guess I'll bring it back. Cardio up. Dude, wouldn't it be, if I swear to God, if I just had a thing uh, that constantly while I was just running and living my real life that would just like give me like a star rating when like I've done enough running and it's just like cardio up uh, With like star man. I would be in such good shape like I know that there's like Smart watches and things and like Fitbits and you can like track shit like that But it's like man. I need like a fucking I need a real UI. I, I, I I've got that cursed gamer brain. I got that gamer rot and without like a constant feedback loop like that, I genuinely feel nothing. I want an IRL POE skill tree. No, you fucking don't. Because if you put more than 30 levels into any path in that skill tree and you got to that point, you would, you, stuff would start getting a lot darker once you realized your uh, build wasn't very good. Okay. Listen, guys, in POE, when your build sucks, you just reroll. All right, there's only, <laughs> ain't, you know, ain't no re-rolling, all right? It'd be pretty dark. <sighs> all right, let's roll. Uh, do we got some shipping containers over here? I am gonna swing by them. Thank God the zombie, hang on. There's two big old barrels. I'm gonna go get these. These zombies are some of the most blind fucks I've ever seen in my life. Like, they're dumb. Stupid bastards. Maybe someone would want this. Chemicals? And? And? Chemicals. Okay. I mean, that should have been expected from the fact that it was two big old barrels of chemicals. Uh, I might get supplies from those boxes there. I just want enough to get... I mean, it says there's still one more here, actually. Oh, is it that gas can up front? That's only going to give me gas, probably. I don't think it would give me... It's not going to give me a rucksack. Uh, so we're going to move on for now. I'll probably swing by and grab it another time. Any supplies in there? No. I want to go up this thing quick to try to see if I can see anything. Real quick. Real quick. Climb up this here billboard. We'll see if I can see anything. See if we see anything of no up here. Hello out there. My name is Ray Santos. You don't know me, but I'd like you to become my neighbor. Fuck off, Ray. I don't. Here in Trumbull Valley. <laughs> there ain't no space for neighbors here. Ask the last two. There is no space. There's plenty to live for in Trumbull Valley. What does this guy think that The Long Ranger's hostile? The fuck are these guys? Dude. Do not make me escalate again. Do you, how many more communities of people am I going to have to drive a truck into before they stop moving in and aggression on my land? Is there a mod fight? Wait, wait, wait. People are yelling mod fight. Is there a mod fight? No. Okay. We never fight. Okay. You guys know me, I live for the drama. Yeah, I'm gonna check out this house. This is like a construction house. It might have supplies. I just want to get an infirmary, guys. I feel like I need an infirmary upgraded. Is that a fucking screamer? Oh, that's so choice for me. I have to get this thing. Please, 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 nothing else in here. Please, 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 let me get him. Nice. Huge. That worked out very well. Okay, I'm gonna get this dude as well. Bam! 
There's a whole combat system with swinging your weapon, and I've never used it because this game's stealth mechanics are so strong. I would actually never imagine in a million years trying to fight someone, like, one-on-one -on -one in a normal context. Parts, love it. Bingo. That's pretty heavy. This is gigantic. Okay, that means we can make an infirmary, which means that we can get Ramon off of being depressed by being mostly infected by the plague. We'll start getting better now, and we can actually put these two, because I didn't want to put, oh my god, two sets of it? I wish I had, I really Careful. wish I had a repair kit a for the car. Yo guys, morale is up! cared about me around here, but you folks proved me wrong. <laughs> she made food and then said, you guys showed me the way, and I'm glad I didn't give up. Like, they didn't do anything. She, that no, literally no one did anything but her to make things better. And she's like, you guys, sh like, actually saved my life. Like, no, they didn't. I am the puppet master pulling the strings. Thank me. All right, don't thank Ramon. Don't thank whoever the other girl is. I don't even know them because they're useless. <laughs> Thank me. Bringing this back. Thankfully, most of the zombies are gone, so I can sprint it. I say, hearing a zombie directly in front of me. Thought I did. Must have been in my head. This man was getting hard carried. What are you? I'm doing great for like. Dude, I've only played like maybe five hours of State of Decay. Two total in my whole life. And on top of that, I've only really played like maybe three of the original. Dude, we are not running low on fuel. We have more than we've ever had before, which is to say we've never had more than four. So, um, it used to be zero. You should be grateful and happy. Alright, I'm putting in the order for infirmary. It's time to get some supplies, Roland. It's time to heal. All right, how long is that gonna take? Oh. Oh, what the fuck is that, like 10 minutes? No, more like two minutes or it's three. It's too bad we can't have a barbecue and invite all our neighbors. It'd be nice. What is your job? I'm asking genuinely, what is your job? What do you do here? Oh yeah, you can't tell me, can you? You don't know. hate so all everyone everyone raise your hands if Sophie's your least favorite at least Ramon does things what is she up to she doesn't do anything I want when I ordered them to clean the latrines I saw them throwing up in the latrine they weren't I don't think they were cleaning it their head was in there so either they were throwing up in it or they were like fucking like or their head was way too close to it for it to be just cleaning to them. Oh shit. Get yeah. <laughs> that this guy actually just didn't know what was going on. Dude, I panicked and I still beat him in like combat. I'm way too powerful, way too good. Holy crap. Right, let's see. I'm just like I'm taking it slow. I want to get the other container that's over here. Then we'll slowly make our way to those two uh, new communities. Slowly loop this place. That was the loudest thing I done ever did in my life. Let's see if I get punished for it. No. Doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Okay. Well, if I'm not gonna get punished this time, I'm gonna keep doing it <laughs> until I learn my lesson. <laughs> Sounds like company's on the way. Wrong. Oh fuck! Idiot. <laughs> I've got a special weapon for you. I'm gonna fight you. Yeah, for real. Yeah. And what a. Oh. 
All right, let's get the hell out of here. Grandma! That wasn't your grandma, dude. You too, huh? You want to die like the others? <gasps> That's fine. Dodge. Is that bed up there? I was just sleeping Let's on this Let's be thing. careful. I just saw a freak. Rude. Rude and uncalled for. Hey guys, watch out out there. There's a freak somewhere. Me every day when I see tomato turn on stream. I'm just tired of catching shots when I'm not really doing anything wrong. I, I don't deserve this. Everything that you think makes me deserve it was taken out of context. So here's what I brought back. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at all this stuff. Guys, we are miserable. <laughs> like, make no mistake. It might look like things are going really well for this community, How's but it going? we're miserable. Is this done yet? Finish making the thing or die. Hey, everything's cool. Everything's cool, Ramon. Better speed up the work, Sophie. I'm tired. And look at what you did. You made us helpless. Finish this. Finish it now. You better speed this up before I get pissed off and enact rationing again. I don't want to do anything with that. Yeah, I'm just trying to take a look around to see what I can upgrade or grab. I'm going to deposit this carpenter's hatchet. I feel like... And what if I could? Someone needs to learn this medicine thing, but I don't think anyone has... I don't think anyone has enough uh, medicine skill. I feel like I could maybe swap to the others and see. I don't want to switch until after we've um, we finished the infirmary because my character needs to rest. They're getting sleepy. I hope nothing heard that. God, I'm so actually. You know what? I am gonna tell her to rest. She just got actually sleepy. I'm gonna tell him to. I'm gonna go ahead and swap now. So I'm gonna drop that and the ammo and these things. Okay. Gonna have her carry the fencing tool again. And then, base, community. How's, Ramo How's Ramon doing? Doesn't matter, switch to Sophie. They're the only one left. We're not gonna be able to meet the neighbors. Sometimes I think about taking up golf. You know, to relax. You wanna take up, wow, actually Sophie did a good job over here. What the hell? Um, listen. I need Ramon's infection enough, treated. Get on the bed. Thank you. Did you guys hear that nasty fucking gasp? It went like. <clears throat> hey, Ramon. Okay, it's down to 73 now. Guys, he's getting, he, he's getting better. He's healing. So what is this girl's skills? Because Catherine's sleeping. Hang on, are they? No, they were just kind of hunched over a fucking bench. I gotta actually send Catherine to sleep. Everyone here Not has so many- loader. They, they all have, they're all so high maintenance. Go to sleep in the bed. Sophie is all we have left. What are her skills? Oh! She's a fucking empath too. Oh, it's awful. Oh, they're not good. Then they're, they're like completely useless to me. Wit, zero wits, empath, nerd, piece of shit. What 
that? What's that? Ramon is now frustrated due to low morale. Ramon, we literally just made a hospital and you're crying. This sounds like a you problem. I'm so tired of it. I'm still missing a workshop. I'm gonna have to deconstruct the latrine soon to make space. Guys, it never gets any easier to, and, and we need more pizza. God damn, never gets any easier. Look, there's an enemy base of some kind up there. Bunch of rangers, evil men. You like we go across the street to the gun shop and loot these buildings? And we go to the rickety old shed. Or you swing on over there. Maybe go down the road. I think that's the best bet. Head on over there. Sun's gonna be setting soon. Look, this girl doesn't have much of a chance of surviving, but if they can find some food, then maybe things might be okay. I see two zombies we can stab in the back of the head. That's a good start. Ramon has recovered from trauma. That's good for him. Maybe that'll help his... Maybe that'll help his mental. Don't worry, guys. Screamers never turn around. They never move. They stay in the same position until they die. They're not gonna see me. Boom. And again. It's like free. Is that a feral? Oh, God, that's a feral. All right, boys. Keep your wits about you, which is going to be hard for Sophia because she literally has no wits. Actually witless. So keep your... We have to keep our wits about us because... Oh, my fucking God. Yeah, we have to get away from this area because those... Two, there's two of them. Over there. Witless doofus. Hey, this is a farm. You know what? Farms have food. Farms have... Farms make food. No way we don't find a delicious bag of food in a place like this. Probably pizza, if I had to guess. Wonderful. Or a whole bin of tampons. No, I didn't expect- I did not see that one coming. Actually. Is there anything else in this place? There's a big old crate. That's my second bin of uh, tampons I found. <laughs> Yo, we could use some help if you can spare it. I can't. Nothing we can use. You want medicine? I don't. I don't have any. Where are the fuck? They're still so far away. And it's dark now, which is like the worst time Nothing to do everything. About. It's scary in here at night, guys. It's scary out here. This place is terrible. I think I'm done searching here. Oh, you think you're done? All right, well, thanks for the update. Medicine and an espresso place. Permanent safe area, morale boost, gain or improve cooking, frequented outpost, whatever. We're not gonna make that place an outpost, but I will loot it. Maybe the coffee place has food. Come on, we have work to do. God, I wish I had a better flashlight. Holy shit. Medicine? Why is the flashlight on when you're trying to be sneaky? Because zombies don't see it. Well, it's not really anything special. There's not been a single zombie that's ever responded to my flashlight on it, so I'm not gonna stop. And also, I don't know if you've seen how dark this game is without a flashlight, but uh, it's dark. Duct tape, a whole rucksack of it. That's huge. That's a food place. Can't tell if the zombie's facing me or not. It's not? Okay. Lucky me. 
All right. I'm gonna go in. We're gonna take a look around. This is a fast food, like, supermarket or something. See if we can find any snacks. If we do, we'll grab a rucksack of it, too. Bring both of these up. About. And a couple of runs. Sophie, while not a fighter, can do that right. Fast food supermarket? Yeah, it's like a fucking, you know, like a, like a very nice fast convenience store. They have like hogs and stuff. All right, and that's medical rucksack. I don't know, it's got like, it's got like hogs for sale. It's got like nachos, you know what I mean? Like a gas station style supermarket. Oh my God, hang on, this place has everything. I'm not looting any of it yet because I don't have the space, but uh, I can do a quick couple of runs on this. Ethanol, I can carry that. Dude, this place is fucking popping. If I had a car, I'd go up and talk to the vestiges, but I have to repair my car first to do that. What would this place give me? Food and health. If I had 300 uh, influence, I'd get the abandoned clinic next. Not this place. I'm gonna run this stuff up the hill. Is that my house? That's my house. Straight on ahead through the woods. Oh, that's a screamer. That was close. Okay. have to slow down you have you are nothing yeah nothing oh my god i ran for 15 seconds and you're like i'm tired you're nothing you're pathetic i dropped this shit off five materials go down for the next pile Gonna do quick back and forth. Carry all this stuff over from the store. There's nothing in the way at all. That screamer's way over there, so we're good. Maybe I'll find a repair kit on one of these cars. I might get that screamer. Oh, she's not witless! Guys, she's not worthless. They have one star of wit. What was once no brain has become small brain. This place sketches me out. I don't like it. I don't like this place at night. But, uh. Keep checking these trunks. Eventually, I'll find a repair kit for my car that's blown up twice now. Nothing. Just parts. Alright, next rucksack that's is the pizza. Heavy. Let's carry it. Normally, I would grab another person and have them come with me, but Ramon's still healing and the other one needs to sleep, so... Oh my god! Dark Souls. Do not ever fuck with me. Witless or no, everyone can do the Dark Souls backstab technique. Point down emote. I wonder if she'll whine again. At least the food's gonna be good for a bit now. Four more food. We are back. There's no way we're going to stay hopeless after this one, guys. Once I grab that last bin, still have medicine on the way. We are going to be cooking with gas. Last, last trip. I'll admit I was unhappy here, but I'll stick it out. Yeah, thanks for sharing, Ramon. I mean, I knew you weren't going to leave because you have nowhere else to go, and we were actually the only ones treating you for an infection you had, but thanks for letting me know that you're happy about that. Um, if you had tried to leave, I probably would have shot you after taking all of your stuff off of you. Um, go fuck yourself. Uh, clear comms. Like an asshole. 
Dude, I literally am the only one rooting for him, and he's gonna tell me he was thinking about leaving? Dude, there's six bodies of blood on your hands, you fuck! You did that! You killed them! I'm the only one that would ever accept you in a community. You're gonna fucking think you're gonna leave me. You can't leave! You killed those people! That's almost you're like sick! That guy better hope he never gets the blood plague, because I swear to God, the speed at which I exile fuckers for getting the blood plague, guys. The speed at which I click exile <laughs> and kick people out. You should have seen it. Dude, I've had people with 30 seconds left before they get blood plague begging me to kill them, and I say, I'm sorry, you have to leave. I'm sorry, we actually can't handle this kind of negativity in front of the others. And they walk outside and turn into zombies right in front of my party, but because they got exiled and not executed, everyone's totally fine with blasting a bullet in their head. But only after they've been exiled. Three more meds obtained. How's, uh... How's your boy doing now? Oh, I should drop off the other stuff I've got. How's our boy doing? Oh, how's he feeling? Hey, man. You still in the bed? Have you, has your infection been cured? How are you feeling? It's 37%. He's almost fixed Remember, up. Remember, stay safe. Times like these, a man could use a drink. Dude, you need to rest, not drink. He's addicted. He's an alcoholic, guys. It's a shame. It makes me very sad. Hi there. Are you feeling better? You look like you're feeling better. You Switch. Wake up. Nope, they're still... They're still kind of getting there. They got, like, their head hurts a little bit. Always we'll, glad to see you. We'll let them... We'll let them do what they need to do. It doesn't look like they actually need to rest. Okay. Uh, in that case... We need to just make sure that Catherine gets on a bed once Ramon's done getting rid of his infection. We'll take over as... Jesus, there's a lot of shit outside. There's a bunch of ferals right over that... Right over by that weird smelling shack. I'm not gonna get involved in whatever's going on over there. I'm, uh, we're gonna stay away from that. Maybe I go... I just don't want to go up north without fucking... God damn it. I'm like in a position where I'm trying to wait for Ramon to feel better before I do anything. I'm not really, I kind of, I'm kind of surrounded by 800,000 zombies right now in every direction. Uh, I guess I'll hit up Armwell Gun Shop and the rickety, rickety old shed next. Not much else to do but that. Sophia may be a total piece of shit. One of the worst characters. Someone. Clean the latrines! Ramon's brother is dead. You gotta be kidding me. He was Ramon was sick with the disease. I couldn't fucking send him to go find his brother. His brother's dead now, guys. Good? You're right. If he had met his brother, maybe his brother would have been like, you'd be better off joining my team, and then I would have had to kill them both. You're right. Maybe it's for the best that Ramon has only us to rely on, guys. If he had more people looking out for him, he'd be twisted and corrupted by their words. We're keeping him safe. By keeping his options limited. You understand. I should probably search somewhere else. There's nothing in this place. It's a shithole. Pizza store is all cleared out. Check these two spots in the back now. I don't hear any zombies. Which means when I jump this fence, I'm probably going to see one. Nope. It's clear. For now. He's, I always had to do this to check if there's an actual, like, um, special in front of me. Or if it's just normal zombies. Locked. Locked. We are not opening that right now. Gotta get rid of that there streamer. No if, ands, or buts about it. It's gotta go. 
Everyone knows the rules. Screamers never move and they never turn around, making it super safe to walk straight at them. Because they never move. All right, let's get this house. Leave the shed. It's too loud. Locked. Also locked. Uh, is there another door? It's got to be. It's gotta be. I'm not opening. I'm not going in through that way. Okay, here we go. I mean, all right. Let's get what we can. This is why I love stealth spec. You can't be loud on lethal, okay. guys. This isn't just like because it's strong. It's because if I wasn't playing quiet, this game would be over. This character would be fucking done. I never played this game. Is it worth it? Okay, uh, it could be worse. When it launched, I would have said absolutely fucking not. I think the game launched with a bunch of problems. At this point, I've been enjoying it um, on like the highest difficulty, but it still has issues. I'm having fun with it for what it is. Um, it's got a lot, it's had a lot of quality of life like updates. I think it's on like Game Pass and stuff like that. But I don't use that trash. Hey yo, this is your neighbor just down the way. You mind helping us out real quick? Huh? No, uh, yes, I actually do. Dental floss. It's like a simpler zomboid. I would, guys. I mean, like, here's the thing. It's simpler in a lot of ways, but I would argue there's a lot of fun slapstick stuff that this game has that other zombie games just don't have. As a result of the fact that this is like a very like. Like the, like the visuals and like perspective of it really help it in that regard. Like I had a lot of fun fucking up that, like those two groups of guys and you couldn't really do that uh, in like a Zomboid style one in the same way. And all these zombie games have their own weaknesses and strengths and this one's strengths is in like some of the goofier aspects, but you have to fight through a lot of like weird crust to get there at points. What is it? How far away is this guy? That's good to hear. Jesus! I need my car working, guys. Fucking hell. At some point, I'm going to find another toolbox, and then maybe we won't crash this car into 15 zombies. A lot of people write off these games, like... And I get not wanting to play it, like, off stream well, but like as a streamer these kind like this game is very fun to stream as a lot of games that may have middling reviews are to stream because between all of those crustier sure mo I've moments there's a lot there. of really fun stupid shit you can get up to that like is fun for a stream to watch but wouldn't really be something i'd play for 40 50 hours on my own you know nothing else in this place we're gonna move on my guy, did you not just talk to me? The vestiges still need your help. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah, call someone who fucking cares. You know how far away you guys live? You know how hard it is to walk? Scavengers focus on big items. If we stock up on small comforts, it'll add up when we need to trade. Where is this place? They want me to go to the unfinished house and look for personal, like, luxury goods. Didn't I just loot that place? I mean, I can check it again. That'll make this character happy, and then they won't leave. We need more. Witless is up by two now, guys. She gets stronger every day. I just need a toolkit. If I get a toolkit, we can do things. Like, we'll have options. Small brain is growing, it's formed a wrinkle. Uh, I'm running out of space. Cause I didn't really think about this. Uh, we're gonna drop the energy drink. And I'll remember it's here. Gas can is gonna get is gonna be more important because I'd like to I'd like to have more gas on hand for when I get the car working. Because I think the car is out of gas. Is there anything, anything at all about State of K3? I don't know. I don't really follow the game's news. Lumber. Uh, and a bunch of other shit. I'm gonna have to carry this stuff back. We have a full inventory. I gotta run this shit back. Come on, guys. We'll have to do another run. Yo. 
gotta do a walk back on up the ramp. Cardio up as well. I mean, we're gonna level Sophie's stats really quickly because she's so fucking useless that it has to level. Is that screamer moving? Guys, I didn't know that was possible. I thought screamers didn't move. How the hell is that one? Back when I thought zombies needed to see, I went searching for beds in the dark. Learn from my mistakes. Use your flashlight. See what have I been telling you guys? I be, people have been coming in here all day today. They've been saying, why is this flashlight on? Why is this flashlight on? They can see the flashlight. Can't they? Twain just fucking said exactly what I've been thinking and telling you all day. So now you can shut your mouth. All right, you're welcome. I'm not sure any of this is working out the way we hoped. I would imagine you would feel that way right now in your position, wouldn't you? Pathetic. Five materials. I mean, we've got a good amount of supplies so far, chat. We've got a good amount of supplies. I would say things are looking up for this old party of weirdos and miscreants. Are you still Don't tired? Much good without ammo. Eight percent infection left. Don't be gone for too this long. Yes, dude. We would just need two people on hand, and we could upgrade this infirmary to level two. That feels good. I don't have a spare slot to check the cost of building something else. I'm just afraid that if I get rid of the toilets or latrines, everyone's going to be like, yup, I'm killing myself. But I walked outside to take a shit and I realized I had to shit in the big pile of shit instead of the latrine. I'm killing myself. I don't really want that to be what happens. But I need to make a workshop so I can make grenades and things or else we're never going to be able to kill a plague heart. So, so either I accept that we're going to be a lot more miserable once I get rid of this. One of these things is going to have to go. It's got to be one of these two things. These people are going to have to make do without in a little bit. I'm, I think I give it until I get back from this next run. And then um, that call is going to have to be made. Can't you just move? Guys, I literally just spent all my resources building up shit here. The second I, th like, there's not that many slots in any base. Like, uh, the thing is, you can't just move to an outpost. It has to be a real base. This is the base of this town. Like, imagine being like, oh, you don't have enough space to, like, uh, like, decorate a certain room of your house right away. Just move to one that has the space for that. But, like, that, it's not that easy. It's not that easy. There's a lot of nuance to that. Oh, morale is up. Back to depressed. You see, this is great because when she goes back to that latrine later, now that it's clean, she's going to see that it's actually completely clean because it's gone. Because I destroyed it. Can I make the call now so they don't pin it on me? Can I just, like, crouch here and, like, make that call? Ooh. Yeah, maybe I'll do that once I get inside. You know what I mean? <laughs> A lot of guys around. Mor the highest we've ever been in morale is critically depressed. It's been, it's been a hard year for our characters, these last couple of days, specifically. I mean... Morale increased to shattered. Okay, Ramon is back up, so when we get back, we're gonna take Ramon out and we're gonna do something crazy, because he's our combatant. He's our most powerful warrior. Bolts. It's nothing really useful. Uh, this place isn't great. This place is kind of a waste of my fucking time, guys. Okay. Alright, that's like, that gets me a lot of ammo for my revolver. I am happy about that. I need to remember to dress up Ramon and the others in nice clothes. We have nice clothes. That might make them happy. 
A parang? The amount of just like weapons I've given. I think I have to walk in this build, like this room to like technically have searched it. Looks clear. All right, maybe we get something good out of this and then we're out of here. Morale has been switching from it's so over and it's I'm over sure this I've entire stream. Here. Yeah. Yeah. Do I have one more inventory slot? I need to go to that unfinished house to finish the um, quest for this girl. I don't want to do that before I go home and drop all this stuff off. And again, I could... Uh, I'm gonna grab the circuitry. I already have some seeds. I don't think I've grabbed much of this. Bring this stuff back. I'm gonna leave the soda. I'm making a stand here. I don't need the soda. They sound like my neglected Rimworld pawns. Yeah? I mean, listen, we're on the hardest difficulty. These people are gonna naturally be much less happy about the situation of things. I mean, hell, they're mostly starving all the time. I'll check for screamers up ahead. It's that one there. But it cannot see me. Ramon, it's almost time to go on another adventure. I'm gonna have to just guys, what do we get rid of? Toilets or water? One of them's gotta go. Now that we're back to miserable, it's time. Scimitar. Water? Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Guys, look, we need to make a workshop. It'll make them happier in time, but right now it's gotta go. Destroy. Sorry guys, no more water. We're not saving any of it either. It'll just remind you of how, ba how bad it is now. Uh, okay. Workshop. Make it now. Be like, because I can't destroy a master bedroom. It's lo it's a lovely master bedroom. I'm not going to do that. And I can't destroy these bunk beds because it's a du it's lovely double bunk beds. I'm not going to do that. We're short one of the supplies we need to upgrade command center, but I think getting the workshop upgraded is better. Good, Ramon. Good. Is this game modded? No. Uh, State of Decay does not have that many mods that do anything meaningful for me. Gosh, it's dark. I'm gonna run over here quick and pick up the, uh... Is that a screamer? It's not facing me. I'm gonna pick up the, uh, luxury goods that the game claims are over here. And then, uh, run back and switch to Ramon. Ha! <laughs> That's taken care of. What the heck? How much influence do we have? We are at 308. That's enough to get another, um... Is that enough to just get this place? 300 out of 308. Yeah, I think we go to the potential med outpost. We also upgrade that. Or we maybe, maybe we get raw supplies? I don't know. It's hard to decide. We have one more outpost slot. Carol. Everyone, stay sharp. Is there? Oh, where is it? Oh, oh, it's running right down the road at me. Gotta get out of here. Ain't no way. Okay, go for the head. Fucking hell. The other one's running this way. I gotta get inside. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh! Ah! Ah! Sophie! These fucking things. Ah! 
You better pray to God you kill me. As if you can. I'm gonna kill. I, I will kill you. Okay, I will. And I just gotta grab this. Gotcha, pussy. <laughs> I climb back in. I've got the virus. We're gonna have to evict Sophie. You can't backstab these guys, guys. That's the problem. You can't do any. It's so over for Sophie, guys. It's so over for our most useless teammate. Anyways, 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 guys. The most I can do for Sophie now is passive noise from population effects have changed. Oh. Got cocky, paid the price. What do you mean? I pull. I had to kill that feral, that which wasn't Mark. People are. People always fucking do this thing where they're like, he got cocky. He dropped his guard. A feral wasn't marked. Climbed out of a building in the dark. I had to shoot it because you saw what happens if you try to melee one. They're almost invincible on this difficulty. Didn't have any more ammo, so I. I unfortunately, that was more luck. I switched to Ramon. No, nah, dude, it was overconfidence because something bad happened to you. It's always too soon. All bad things are completely preventable. Fuck you. Don't know anything about anything. It shows every time. It was a death pit. He's trying to end the stream. It's just about that time. <laughs> it's all part of the plan. Uh, do I have any ammo for any of these guns left? Well, I have to have the Uzi. Yeah, my mistake was not it's sending Sophie easy. out with um, 24 revolver rounds, but um, to be frank, I didn't feel great about sending her out with my only ammo supply that I can actually use with my good character. Because uh, it was better it was better held on to at the base. It's okay, guys. Ramon's brother is still out there. We're gonna find Ramon's brother. I guess it's never too late to learn something new. Yeah, true. It's fine. What we're going to do, tell you what we're going to do. We're going to load up on all these luxury alcohols. We're going to walk them on all, all on over to the new people over here. They say they want medicine. They're going to get alcohol, uh, unfortunately. Uh, that or we could go to the... The drag racers and see what they need. We could do one or the other. I guess we could go south. Maybe that'd be better for me. Still don't have a way to, like, drive. Why does Ramon's head still hurt? Ramon, I thought I ordered you to get, like, help. Back to being hopeless. At least the workshop is done. Damn, we need 15 to upgrade this as well. Okay, we're back to miserable, guys. It's okay. Well, listen, uh, you keep the latrines clean, okay? I'm moving back on the road again. We're going due south, 800 meters. Probably won't survive. Let me go grab a nice, good weapon that ain't this shitty hatchet. That was the loudest thing I ever did in my life. Uh, okay. What's the best, uh... Yeah, where's the girl? Where's the other girl? She's downstairs, I think. The hell is she? Girl? Kath? Hey there. Eight. Eight Where slot am I gonna backpack. Uh, no place to put it. Damn. Where am I gonna put that? Okay, fine. Where just just keep that? it. Keep that one. Alright. Do the highest damage. I did Stop. that every, every time I do that. It, it makes me wince. When I smash through the fucking wall.
None of these weapons really matter because I don't really use them. But I think the branding iron, just for the durability of it, is probably the best option. All right, gang. We are hitting the road. We are going south. In, in the dead of night, because the nights last a thousand years longer than the day. We are going over yonder. Over the hills. Ramon is so stupid. What are you... When you, why are you guys being, wait, why are you guys being mean to him? He didn't, he didn't get killed by two ferals like a goofball. Why are you guys being, why are you guys blaming it on him? He didn't get, he didn't get owned. God, I free, the nights feel so much longer in this game than the days. It's insane. Get ready to be backstabbed. Oh, we just gotta get past this pack right here and then we can start jogging. I mean, actually, I can just run alongside them and they won't see me. For a bit. We do have this pizza joint claimed. Hey, we've been robbed. Stop that thief. What the? God damn it. Ain't no way. Where are they? My dude's growling, dude. Ramon just got really pissed. Someone just stole from us. I'll fucking kill him. You gotta be kidding me. I barely made it outside the house, Catherine. It's Sophie. Guys, Sophie's fucking dead. And you need to let them go. I don't care what anyone says. I saw them die. Because I was in control of their body. Catherine, you better have a good reason how this even played out because I swear to God, there's no reason for there to be a theft in this building. Where the hell are you? You're sleeping. What happened? I'm sure you'll be fine, hon. You go fix it. I'm tired. Okay. Good news. Oh, for a second, I thought it was the fucking grill master's house again, guys. Okay, good news is it's not the grill master's house. I swear to God, if it was, though, if I checked that map and it said the grill master was back and he stole my shit after the, ma after the two massacres I've enacted upon those people. Holy shit, dude. Do I have them all top? I got three of them. Okay, good. All right, so this guy's going to learn not to steal from me. I'm gonna make it very clear. Guys, don't worry. This is Ramon. This is not... This is not Sophie. This is Ramon, my strongest warrior. I just avoid that bloater. I want to get bloated. Come on. The moon's shining upon this year night. We're gonna make that person pay whoever they is. I don't care what reason they had to steal from me. I don't care if they needed the stuff. The last thing they ever gonna do now, I'm gonna kill them. I'm gonna burn them alive. I'm gonna watch. As their skin melts off the bones. They should have seen what I did at the rickety garage in the grill master's house. They should have known not to steal from me. You better drop your shit. It's my shit now. Let's cool it for a second, all right? Your name's Chris, huh? Known to be living, I see. Chris. I'm willing to kill you and me if that's what it takes, Chris. You know how hard I worked to get that stuff, or if you did, you wouldn't have... Maybe maybe if you did know, you wouldn't have done it. It's too late now. There's no going back. No going back. Sorry, won't cut it. Only the spilling of blood is going to cut it. Okay. When the sun comes up, you're... I won't even have space in my inventory to... Freaking 
<laughs> take my stuff back. I'm doing this. I'm doing this for the sport of it now, Chris. One entrance into the. So whose toes are those? I see him. Can I see him? I see those toes. Nope. So much for this place. My fucking pizza. Oh, piece of shit. You, I, I'll take what you stole off your corpse. Sorry, but I gotta kill you now. Okay. I don't want to fight you. What the? What the hell? He survived it. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. What the he? Dude, I really would just love to kill Chris, but it seems like now. Sorry about this, Chris. Once more seems like a good call, Chris. I'd like to leave. Oh, see ya. Ain't no way you're still alive, Chris. Those pizzas are mine, boy. Fucking hell. Ugh. You should go after Chris if you know what's good for you. That's what I'd do if I was you. I'd go after Chris. He's the one you want. He done stole. You don't make it out of that building alive, Chris. I right, go ahead and clean up those zombies for me. Come on out. I'm out of ammo. We can talk about this still. Chris? Chris? Oh shit. What's going on? None of your concern. Now you two just stay away from that body in there. You know what's good for you? You'll leave it be! Oh, you little bitch! I don't have time for this shit! Hey, actually, yo, do you guys want to trade? trade? I got all this alcohol. There you go. I know. Hello. No, 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 you guys don't come in here, that's my shit. Where's his body? If any of you touch it, I'll kill you too. Do you understand me? Where is it? Where's my pizza? Where is it? Whoa, what the fuck? Oh shit. Can you guys believe how bad this is? What are we enemies now? What are we enemies now? What is this? Looks like we're enemies now. I don't know how it happened, but uh Don't come near me. I still got six more rounds! I will fucking kill you both, you both! Oh! oh shit! You have no idea how crazy I am, you two I have no idea. Do you fucking mind, dude? Fuck off! Oh! 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 Many more times so I gotta teach you two this lesson. Oh! 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 Better watch out for those zombies. You have no idea how strong they are. <laughs> you have no idea how dangerous those zombies are. Out of energy. Oh, there's Chris. Good job. You Ow! Girl, get the fuck away from me. Fight these zombies. Fight these zombies for me, on my behalf. All right. My last shot. My bullets! No! Oh, shit. You don't want to go out.
She's just she's just smacking that. Apparently, hitting them gets them up. Not really sure how. I feel like this person should be so dead at this point, but yet they're still alive, and I'm not really sure why. You fucking die already, lady. Fucking hell, I feel like this should be over by now, dude. <laughs> Can I please? Please! Excuse me. Oh, the fucking poison cloud! Dude, it's so dumb that it went like this, man. No, Ramon! The ferals are so strong. Excuse me. Oh, they can knock me out of it too. That's bad. Yep, Ramon's got the plague. Maybe these guys got a grenade on them. Maybe if I could just... Oh! 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 E Hang on. Thanks for understanding. Please let me have some privacy in these trying to. Thank you. Maybe they lost me? Yo, lady, if I'm gonna die, I'm killing us both. Fucking die. Boom! A lot more than that to kill Ramon! I. Ah. Okay, guys, that was exactly as much as they needed to kill Ramon. So, oh, guys, I figured it out. So, the depressive state our team was in was exclusively due to Ramon, because when he died, we went back to a stable house. He was a bad influence and a toxic personality. So it's actually for the best that he got eaten by zombies in that shed after trying to kill three more people, because he just kills. He's a serial killer. He's a psycho. We're better off without him. And we got to keep the, the, <laughs> the influence. I'm just gonna go ahead and find a, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call the police. Uh, let me go ahead and call in a... <laughs> Guys, I got just enough here to call in a supply drop of Ultimate Edition ranged weapons, so I don't see why I wouldn't just, uh, you know, use my influence, my unlimited influence now that I've obtained from selling that person alcohol and then killing them all uh, on buying Ultimate Edition ranged weapons. <laughs> in reality, I, th I think that's game over. I, I don't think uh, this character is capable of one-manning this game. We've, uh... Yeah, they've got good wits. But without another person, I think uh, I think that's that good old four-hour stopping point. Which is was actually naturally arrived upon. I did not plan on losing Ramon. <laughs> that, that, it is really hard to kill humans in this game, you know that? Like, I know I shot that one in the head, but that must have been a fluke. It is really hard to kill a guy on this difficulty. I felt I had to beat that person's ass while they were crumpled on the ground, and they kept getting up. I had fun. This game, this game's a goofy fun time. So, uh, that, was a, that was a goofy good old time. Uh, yeah, we're going to be back tomorrow with another stream, so keep your eyes peeled. This game is really fun in multiplayer, though. I mean, you lose a lot of the, um, the, in, the, like, management community mechanics of multiplayer, which is a shame. Oh well, yeah, it's a good time. I had fun. Anyways, chat, I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time. So I'll catch you then. Thanks for coming on by. Laters.